what, what about Paint 3D? Oh, I thought you said Linux Paint. All right, Paint so we like... have... Oh, imagine, so we are the camera, right? Imagine that we are the camera and we are looking at this. At the, this is the 3D scene. Right now, there's nothing. There's now a triangle in the 3D scene. Um, and we are casting, you know, many rays at every single pixel. And what we want to do, because, you know, if we're casting a ray over here, like in this area, obviously we're not going to hit this triangle. So why are we even calculating the complicated, you know, intersection? And then we're calculating if it's inside the triangle using like the uh, bare centric coordinates. That's cringe. So what we do is we calculate the the average location of the triangle. So like the middle, which is, you know, it's roughly the middle. Sometimes it's not exactly the middle, right. but we find, uh, you know, roughly the middle. Then we take the dot products of the vector that goes from the camera to the to the average and then we take the dot products of that vector and the vector that goes from the camera to each of the vertices and we pick the biggest one and we set that as a target so that draws a circle around it <laughs> so now instead of testing if we are you know if we hit the plane and if we are inside the triangle we could just take the dot product of our current view vector which we're shooting out of the camera and you know if the if the, the, the if the dot product of this vector and the you know camera to mean vector for this triangle is not within you know like this target, then we are you know we are 100 percent going to miss it. But if it's within this within this like circle, then we might hit it. And that basically lets uh, lets me compute like I think one or two intersections instead of like 82 per triangle. <clears throat> oh. um, I, I see how you were trying to get optimizations out of that, and that makes sense why you got artifacts. But that's a really cool idea. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Thanks. Uh, I, the, the speed up is like really significant, uh, and because of like how the algorithm works, uh, the smaller the triangles, the more efficient it becomes. So the more triangles you have in a scene, the bi the faster it you know renders. Like this scene has eighty two triangles or like eighty two total planes. It renders in about uh, I think four seconds at maximum resolution. I had another scene with the Blender Monkey. It had about like 342 planes, and that rendered in only 11 seconds. So the more triangles you give it, the faster it renders, which is some wonky stuff. Um, but yeah, this is like, you know, you can move everything, stuff like that. That's pretty much it. Where's the camera rotation? Get the camera up a bit. There's a focal point. You move the focal point and stuff. Um, and right now it doesn't look too too good because the resolution is really low. But what you can do is you can just you know increase the resolution to max, and boom, it is now a maximum resolution. It looks a bit better. Um, as you can see, there is some artifacting. You know, there's a hole in, in this in the sphere. There's some weird like stuff happening over here at that corner of the triangle. That's all because of dot target uh, dot target culling. Uh, it's not implemented too but too well. By the looks of it, I'm not really sure what the bug is, and I'm not going to fix it because at this point it is very annoying to bug fix this. But yeah, now we can zoom in, and uh, you can see the lighting subsystem working at 50 milliseconds. Look at that! Look how beautiful that is. That's a so exciting. All right, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Unless you guys have questions about this. Uh, I've pretty much said anything, everything. There's a screen. Boring. Blendo, Blendo 0 0.2. Yes. <laughs> True. True. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is the, this is like the Lambert lighting. And this is, uh, if you want to see the ID of which plane you hit. So you can see, you know, this is like, I don't know, one, two, and then it's it counts. I don't know what, what, what numbers it is, but it is different numbers. Uh -huh. Yeah, mostly for debugging. So that's why yeah. I hit it in this folder. They're never going to open. They're never going to find. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, okay. Uh, I don't think anybody has any questions, right? No. Not all right. Good. Okay. Thank you, everybody. That's that's my graph. Probably not going to win because it's not much of an art contest graph. More just a performance graph. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's it should be in the in the thing. Yeah, I, you, I really Mr. like. Cool. Oh. The dot target uh calling thing. I'm definitely gonna use that. Oh yeah, I yeah thanks. I I was like, there must be a better way. 
to like figure out like if we're hitting a triangle. Like if if the triangle is on the other side of the screen, you know, why would I test for it? That's stupid. Yeah. So I just you know, what's the fastest thing that I could do with like vectors, dot target or like dot products? And so mm -hmm. I just draw a target around every single triangle, and if we don't hit it, it's so it's so easy. Oh yeah, <laughs> another thing, dot target calling. I should mention this. I didn't implement this, but for shadow rays, oh, I did implement this. I should I could show you a variant with the shadows, which doesn't work very well because dot target calling is very buggy. Um, let me show you real quick for like two more Wait, seconds, if you guys. Can you guys tell me when was the submission deadline again? Uh, it was on the fifteenth. 15th okay i think that this is still the version with literally everything yeah everything is pre-computed so i can't even change the resolution here uh but here you can see rough shadow approximation and this is done by doing dot target culling but instead of finding the biggest deviation from the mean vector it finds the smallest deviation from the mean vector and so if you're if the and then instead of like with the camera it does it with the light so you basically check if it's within that deviation and then if it's within you know you check it for every single polygon and if it's within some you know range uh then it it's in then it's you know 100 percent in shadow and then if it's outside of the maximum deviation it's 100 percent not in shadow and then you only have to compute like the small band like around the edges of the triangle and that you know that would save you a lot a lot of time but i haven't you know i haven't managed to implement this so you just have this very rough shadow calling uh but yeah uh oh yeah also if you're doing shadows with dot target calling you have to check you have to make sure that you're only checking the stuff that is like closer to the light than your hit position because otherwise like it's it's weird and it you know it's going to self shadow all right that's that's it dot right. target calling remember my name when when it becomes famous and, and everybody starts <laughs> using it because of how awesome it is made a so made a fake yeah made a fake spinner so let, let, let's see how this works i'm not able to hear myself but all right you all see it oh you made a spin account wait why is there a separate account just for the wheel for the wheel, wait, so wheel it, account wheel spinner uh yeah so let me spin it you wheel might be able to spin myself right? To be but. blue, guys. I can I can feel it. No, I feel purple. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why? Why is there, why is there an empty? Purple. Almost. Why is there an empty purple. slot? I don't. Purple. No. I told <laughs> you. I told you. I told you. Who? No. We have a winner. We have a winner. Uh, we, have a winner. Uh, we did it. Uh, we did it. Reddit. Clicker. Oh. 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 That actually. <laughs> just said that that was him. Uh, all right. <laughs> again. No way. It's. I can't wait to see what submitted to the art contest. Purple. Blue. Call me blue. I told you. <laughs> it's not it's blue. blue. It's not blue. What? Uh, if, you, if, you see, if you see red coming to you as blue, you are very dead. That's so true. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you see red as blue, you're quite deaf. I yeah, think I mean, I'm if, leaning if into my computer screen too fast. You saw it. It's just being red shift. If you think if you think green coming to you as blue is bad, what about red coming to you as blue? <laughs> Even further along. No, blue and red are all Americans. Oh. Who's all right. who's odd for it? Oh, it's someone. Oh, Imagine you didn't red go yet? Into white. Oh yeah, I thought I I thought engineer went already. Never mind. All right, Audrey. All right. Um. Mm. One second. Okay. Status. We're talking to Fanny. Should I make a resource with dot target calling? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I think you should. Sure. Make a website. Make a wiki. Or get up repository. Oh. I'll make a graph or something. Too. Wow, there's so many people in the VC. Yeah. Send me the graph link later. I'll put it on the computer. 
Oh, wow. Whoa, that's, that's cool. cool. Holy crap. Wow, this is the guy that was Holy okay, moly. Um, so yeah, I'll give a brace short, but this is, um, what I oh, made, wow. uh, it's definitely not oh, very yeah, optimized, that. so the animated version doesn't run too well on a browser. It runs fine on mobile for some reason, but... Yeah, mobile is weird. Um, so here's just a recording of it. That's... That's crazy. That is Yeah, very that cool. shading is really well out. done. I saw that, and I was just like, oh my god, wait, no, the water moves! <laughs> That that water's transparent. That how did you do uh, that? Yeah, that, <laughs> crazy. that that occlusion is insane. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, but the, the water render is the... definitely not optimized. But <laughs> is that ambient occlusion? I see. Am I mistaken? Yeah, let me find that. Please. Yeah, that's, yeah. I pointed out that the the, uh, the layered polygons definitely like wow. sold, sold the effect of It's awesome. Yeah, that's I saw that's I saw the list. video and I was like, whoa. Wait, yeah. hold on. Those list comprehensions look awesome. a bit. Wait, wait, can you scroll down a bit? Uh, to the list comprehension. Oh yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, you could have just done oh. like five point. Three one one two plus shading that would work. What it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, the whole thing's a little bit. I think list comprehensions. Yeah, I think list comprehensions is a little exactly. Bit when the graph looks this good, it doesn't matter how you do it. It's true. <laughs> exactly. It, it's running pretty fast. It runs. It looks yeah, like what it is. Wait, wait, wait the waves. Waves, yeah. The waves are randomly generated. I thought that was just a yeah. model. Wait, That's awesome. That's crazy. so cool. Yeah, yeah no, they no, move. Whoa. I do have a, a technical question about the the pillars and the waves. Did you split the polygons of the pillars to get them to go behind certain waves, or did you? Is that just like approximated or something? Uh, no, they're just one object. Yeah. Huh. Just clipping. Oh yeah. wait. What? Uh... Yeah. How how did you make that? Because it does look like they're going how, through like... each polygon, right? Yeah. Yeah, because if you're doing if if it's just one polygon, then it might look like the pillars were at the front of the water. What are I'm assuming it's sure. multiple polygons yeah. in the what water? What do you use for like sorting or like I don't know? Is that sorting? Do you use that sorting or what do you use? Uh, yeah, I just took the average of the depth of the of the base. That's yeah. crazy. So like it's just it's just oh. really fine tuned. That's the, yeah. that's just like how you guys. It's just incredibly fine tuned. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. And the shadow. What Wait, are each category shadow? you're in? You're you're definitely like winning. Yeah, that. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is like the best 3D shirt. engine I've seen in, in Desmos, like period. Yeah. Actually. So yeah, that's that's about all I have. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good job. Oh wait, I see a GitHub repository. Oh yeah, this What's was that? um what I used to oh, wait, get, the, oh, yes. get the model from Blender. Oh yeah, one the of one of the many. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Every, everyone who does three D stuff eventually ends up making one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I just use Natrons. I'm too lazy. Let's go. I, I tried making one once and it just didn't work. I hate OBJ, OBJ format. I don't Wait, know. You, OBJ yeah. is how really you funny. You can have vertices just as um in like the floating point scientific notation thing. I think I like. Wait, uh, Audrey, how is? How did you do the lighting? Um, for the lighting, I just took the um the dot. Pro it's just the dot product of the yeah, that's, normal with the light vector. Oh, is there just one light just, It's just like all the basic 3D renderer stuff, but you've just got it yeah. to look like so good. Do you remember? It's, it's just, yeah, just it like so just good. perfect yeah. execution of like yeah, the yeah, yeah. Stuff. That's <laughs> it's just. I don't also, even know how it looks so smooth. It's crazy. It's just yeah. that that the thing there's that really some... does it for me is like there's like a shadow for the whole like yeah. thing. It's like a block. There's a very small oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. gradient drop exactly. shadow at the very bottom. I think that like yeah. improves it like hundred yeah. x. Mm -hmm. That was very last minute detail, but <laughs> that's a really nice. Yeah. Effect. it's crazy. It makes it that much better. And also like, like the water, like it's very subtle, but there's like a slight. It's like pushed slightly in so that there's like a low poly effect. It's really, yeah. it's really cool. I think it's the first Desmos render I've seen that is not 
immediately apparent that it's a Desmos render. You know, a lot of Desmos projects yeah. kind of have that Desmosy look to them. But if you yeah. told me this even though, like Blender or something, I would believe. I don't you. think yeah. this is like this even looks like a Desmos like mm. render at all. Like you can yeah, exactly like, say that this is like something on like like well, a, I don't know like, like a fancy like enough. website or something like an NFT host. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Wait, wait, set, okay. wait! Actually, yeah, put it in an NFT. Like, put the graph link there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind me asking, which uh, age category are you you're submitting it in? Uh, seventeen, eighteen. Let's this go! You're not competing. Oh, oh boy! Went all crazy. Wow! Well, oh, you, you got this. I'm glad I don't have to face that competition. That's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? I do. Ha! Huh. Uh, well, <laughs> looks me not submitting anything at all. I, I will say, uh, <laughs> is you, you can't lose if you didn't participate. No, everybody in chat seemed to hate and be like, "No, oh, I'm screwed." <laughs> Did you do the shadows um, like manually, as just like a just one polygon aligned with the plane, or did you like calculate it? Uh, which shadows? The 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 big shadow? one. The one on the ground. Uh, yeah. Oh, that one. The one for um, the whole model. No, that one's just that one's based on where the light is. So that's oh, okay. Oh really? Here. Oh. Yeah. So if you move the light, it should. Wait. Try to move, move it. it. See if this works with Discord oh, it's lagging. Oh. 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 Wait. So this is, like this isn't just. What? Oh what? Oh my Lighting. god. This is crazy. This isn't just what, perfect execution insane. of like of like three D rendering. This is also just like really good example of like artistry because like this yeah, is yeah. I have, this is I, crazy. You, you do this that is just crazy. Really, like, the best idea. If you if you like had the shadows move as if it were a sun and then change the background to the like sunset colors as the shadow moved, that oh, yeah. would make it like oh, oh yeah. That'd be super cool. That's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe like do that later, but like just a and quick idea. Crazy. Yeah. Anyway, did you do something like gamma correction or something? This is very three D ish. I mean, the colors are very good. Like <laughs> not very three D ish. Yeah. I would say this is yeah, one of the three D really of all time. Artist. Me staring at an isometric yeah. drawing. <laughs> 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 It's kind of uh, kind of funny showing this right after my like uh, icosphere with like holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I want to do with this graph is make a path tracer with that model and have the water, um, like oh, real awesome. water effects with that. Oh, like, I, like like rack, yeah. Ooh, that'd be uh, and caustics, yeah, caustics are. Painful. Oh my god, water caustics, caustics are so Jesus painful. Wait, but Lenny, I think. Are. I what? think with ray tracers, gonna be blue. I think that graph is probably going to no, be... No, wait, like, actually, uh, Impractical like Engineer, I think, got removed from the wheel. Okay. So, so yeah, I put him back. There he is. Yeah. Okay, cool, we're good. I don't know. What... Blank entry, I, know. I think it's just because I... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, we did awesome. it, Reddit. <laughs> Spinning the wheel. We did it. Put the wheel. It's going to be blue, I think. Wait. Oh my god. Dang it! You're Whoa. kidding me. <laughs> I'll get it next time. Beautiful. I'm gonna pronounce that Mayu. Mayu? Well, it's an I, yeah. I, I thought it was a Max double. Liu. Oh. Max Liu. Max Liu? Max Liu. Alright, uh, yeah. Give me one second. Let's see. Do you, do you, speaking, just. In the meantime, do you guys know how to turn on like the overlay for Discord? Like, uh, li like when you can see who's talking, there's a little like thumbnail. Just that. do it all. Uh, you have to add it as a. Yeah. You have to set a bind yeah. for it. You have to set, sorry, what? You have to set a global bind for the. For global bind. Uh, settings key bind. Well, you add it as a game, and then you set game overlay to on. Oh, so Discord's not a game. I like. Uh, well, if you're in like the, um. If I make it a game, yeah. I don't know if you can add Discord itself as a game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by? Just this is the stream, but uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. Guys, this is holy moly. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, 
I just created uh, the painting Paris Street Rainy Day because, like, I just, like, in seventh grade, I just went to Chicago on, like, a trip, and then I just remember seeing this painting, and I I also, like, like this artist a lot. Like, he has, like, another, like, great work, like, the floor scrapers. I'm kind of, like, a little bit of an art nerd, but, like, that one's also really impressive, but, like, it's too many people, like, close-ups of people, and, like, I can't really draw, the like, the fine muscles. So I decided to go with this one, and this rain effect is also from like a previous graph, and also have like an audio trace of like Chopin's Raindrop Prelude. Oh, I'm nice. not sure if I can play it. Yeah, that's like, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. So, you, uh, I think I posted the link to this one somewhere. So yeah, I mean you can, but like. My problem is like the performance is like really, like really slow. Cause Did like you use a lot of like, implicits in here. Yeah, cause like the way it created like the uh, texture was like a bunch of trick implicits, and like without uh, it, it just looks like really bad. So, are, are you familiar with DT? Cause in your ticker you got like the point zero one five. DT, Louis, I, I this was kind of last minute cause I I was planning on using a slider, but then I decided mm -hmm. to use like the ticker instead, cause. I just, just felt like it was smoother. You're right. Sliders are like, if you just have a constant, it runs better. So I think it's a good call. Yeah. And then also, I just have like a little button where you can toggle the rain if you don't want the rain to be present. But like, my graph's kind of laggy because of implicit. So. And overall, I think it's pretty detailed. The way the building fades into the back, I kind of like that. Oh, you just noticed the uh, water reflections. Um, okay, uh, so bottom left of the screen, you have like the puddle, but you can still see the bricks on top of it. And you still have like gradient going there. Is that so? Did you like make a gradient and then stack? Yeah, like, it? I, I use like a lot of wood to create the gradient. Uh huh. So like, I think this one's actually like a secant graph. If I'm correct. Wow. So I just have different values. And then I layered them on top of each other in the list. Man. That's yeah. striking. How long did it take you? Like, uh, this is like basically like, like my winter break. So around like a week and a half, maybe. Me spending months on a stupid thing. And got <laughs> it was like, I actually have like no like seconds. But it was like, I think it was a... Uh, I wasn't sure about the copyright. So I decided not to... Just like completely start a new one. So, yeah, my parents are actually making dinner in the background. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is awesome. Right, I think, right, I, 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 I want to say, it, I think the judges Thanks. very much appreciate that you're using implicits. Um, yeah. So, even though it's laggy, there's a lot of merit to this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they will I mean, consider the... performance in context of. The, the, the graph content the graph, because they yeah. said did say they wanted mathematical diversity. I mean, I feel like I did make it like pretty like I made it as like simple as possible. Like I used a lot of lists, which is like I feel like that's better than like having like ten different expressions. Like I could do it in one. Like the crazy in the back is like all one expression. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, what? Well, well, yeah, I really like that like, gradient detail in the back. and uh, graph performance. Yeah, also, like, I use, like, a couple tables, like, for example, like, if you see, like, the, like, the little, uh, ladder that the guy has, like, in the back, the, the decorator, the white shirt, like, mm. that's all, like, a table, so I didn't actually use, nice. like, actual lines, I just used, like, a table. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, and also, like, some things, like, the railings, like, I just, I just create, like, a function for each railing. So I, I can just like spam that function with a list. So yeah, that's that's all I have. So okay, yeah, very nice, just amazing. Nice. This all right. again, this doesn't look like it was in Desmos. I don't understand how you're doing that. How are you making the little emotes on the bottom screen? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's a feature. Wait, like, let me try, let me try, let me try. You, you, there's an emoji you just have an update to Discord in the bottom yeah. bar. Oh, I did the thumb oh, up. I, I'm gonna stop How? sharing How are, you, how are you doing that? Uh, no, everyone's doing it. <laughs> how? How? 
love the grief one. I I literally don't see it's it. It's like like are you clicked into the voice channel where you can like Yeah, yeah, I am. I see it. There's a button. You see like the, the the like the oh God, call. You did it. Yeah, we did it, Reddit. You I see it. <laughs> we did it. Oh, yeah, cool. How do you start a voice chatter? My bookies. Oh, I think it's going to be blue. I need to turn off reduced animation so I can see all the all the All right. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be blue. I think, think it's going to be, I think it's gonna be yeah. Yeah. yellow. Oh. I think it's going to be a color. I think it's going to be a color oh. of the rainbow. I think Holy it's going to be color of the rainbow. Oh, okay. Find the rainbow. Find the rainbow. Let's go. Let's go. I think it's going to be somewhere with the rainbow. Alright, right, this is the... No, nah, man, this is the rainbow. Wait, yeah, why are the reactions gone? I, did everyone, oh, okay, everyone speaking stop of spin the wheel... Were, speaking uh, of spin the wheel, um, in my Zoom class, like a few years ago, we did a spin the wheel. And Stop like, doing the there were the last plans. five people. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, okay, uh, you, you guys can hear me, right? Yep, yep, yep. yes. Okay, yep. Uh, this is the first time I have unmuted in this uh, call. Uh, first time I've been in a voice mm. call before. If you mess uh, up, right? oh. reveal, voice reveal, let's oh, wow. go. Voice reveal. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be like sharing this <laughs> from my phone basically, but uh, understandable. This was. Ooh. Oh, this was gorgeous. Whoa! This was pretty cool. I like that. Well, there's like a like, I like this like, like 3D stuff idea. scattered around. Yeah, I used a like a 3D uh, uh, equation to do this. Uh, and if I had posted this in the graph section, uh, in like the graphs channel, and the thing about this is that for some reason the sidebar isn't like popping up. But I included like a like a detail slider so that for Wait, the phone ones do side side. Yeah, I'm go I'm gonna uh well a feature of this is that I hid twenty Spoilers. pi symbols. <laughs> I hid twenty pi symbols Ooh, throughout this graph. Me? So for the purposes of this call, I'm hiding it. Like I'm hiding the folder with all of them. Oh, okay. So that people like. Oh. So that as I like look through the graph it doesn't really like I don't uh, reveal it. But there's a detail slider I have. Uh reminds me of the blue on brown. Yeah, no, yeah the, the whole cool. idea behind this graph was I wanted to just make like a huge canvas just like filled with things that I could add over time. Uh -huh. And so like when it finally came around it could just be something someone could like just kind of zoom in and explore around yeah, and that's I also why that. i that's also why i kind of like hid all those like pie symbols to kind of encourage doing that to just kind of zooming through it yeah I had a lot uh, of wait um I, I love the kind uh, of graphs where you're just able to zoom in oh, no, like no. forever and find a bunch of little details yeah like there's like all this like stuff i included oh, over oh. here there's oh God, a cool. giant hand. Oh, wait, the this is really that hand is really nice. So you had yeah. a submission from last year, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we remember yeah, with that. the with infinity high on your shoulders one. Cuba verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah th that that one. That was my first submission. I also uh, I was the if anyone remembers, I was the person who made the don't touch red game. Which I uh, posted. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was right. I played that one for a bit. Yeah. Oh wait, I, I never, never got to see like Don't Touch before. Red because I was in that that one. I still feel like Don't like th these graphs are great and all, but I still feel like Don't Touch Red is like my magnum oh, opus, just, just because oh, it's just like yeah, it it's like such a simple design. It was after yeah, I, had just I learned, agree. Like it was after I just learned that actions were a thing, and this was like back when like i was like would it be theoretically possible to make a game in desmos and i'd been like thinking that for so long before i even knew actions were a thing like, would it be theoretically possible to... oh is there they're like an echo in the background but uh yeah i hear too yeah uh, oh, that was me like, i opened I, up the live stream i found out it was a thing and i was like so stoked i was like i have to make something with this and so i spent two months just like forming an idea making the whole thing adding features and it was like 
just all of that. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Was incredible. It's cool. It's awesome. But uh, as for some of the more deep, like some of the things that took a while, I'd say the eye is definitely one of the things I. I wouldn't say one of the hardest things, but I am by no means a, like, I'm not an artist, I would say. Like, I don't, I'm not good at, like, drawing things, especially, like, drawing anatomy. And the this eye was kind of, like, one of the things where I was, like, one of the first times I was, like, I, I looked up reference images. I didn't trace over it. I didn't want to just trace over an eye, because that would be kind of cheap. But, uh, like I looked up references, and, and I, I like I did everything with that. I added all the details. I still think the eyelashes could have been like I probably could have used like Bezier curves for that, but I was worrying about like performance, so I kind of just scrapped it. I I think the very hardest thing to make was actually the cubes, because. Uh, I, I did use a 3D like a, equation to make everything, but the cubes like I had to I had to figure out three uh, 3D projection isn't too hard to make like uh, on its own, but I had to figure out 3D rotation, which was so, something kind of new to me. And I like looked up and found out like I learned about all like the 3D rotation matrices and like all of that. And so I had to make that a thing. And then I had to figure out lighting, which I still don't think I really... I, I didn't figure out fully, I would say. But I kind of... Like, this was me figuring things out on my own. In fact, you can see at the bottom, I have an archive of failed attempts at making shade. You, you can have shade zero, shade one, shade two, shade... I, I went through six different iterations before I finally found something that worked pretty well Jeez. and so just making all of this was like just such a struggle and as for as for all of the other things i wouldn't say there's too much like the center designs uh this was something like i included in my last year submission where i just take a space and fill it with like a bunch of just like detailed designs and like I have the same thing over here, and it's just something like it's just it's it's not really like difficult to do like mentally. Uh, it it takes a lot of effort, but it's just like a really cool thing that works. And then there's like the <laughs> island. There's a little person on the island. Uh, the hand was traced. I'll admit that. Uh, but then there's just all this other stuff. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. If, if there's, like, anything, like, people are, like, curious about and want to know my process about, then... Use uh, uh, two-axis or three-axis rotation for rotation on 3D? Uh, I use three-axis. In fact, awesome. I can probably open up, like, the cubes and, like, find the actual, uh, like, the thing to... I wonder if I have, like, the, yeah. Yeah, I, I can actually, I have the, oh, that's cool. the thing to oh, rotate. That's cool. I, I think the shading gets a bit messed up when you do it, but I have that. Mm, that's really cool. Three axis is, is really cool and convenient, but it, it's really slow. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> it's it's also so slow. So many equations. Yeah. What was your inspiration behind the skyscraper with the planets in the background? Because I, I found that very interesting. Uh, the the skyscraper was a separate thing. That was something I made early on, and I was just like, like, what if there was a like a city in space? Well, not really a city, but like a building in space. And uh, so I kind of made that. The planets were actually one of the last things I added. And that was just kind of like, that was also something I had in my last year's graph. I had a few circles in it. And since I was making a graph that included like a lot of different features, I figured I may as well include that again. Uh, and so they're not really related. Uh, one uh, fun fact about the windows of the 
of the building is that they're all based on equation. Like they're all, they all have colors of previous things I've made. So I think the, like the, the bottom set of windows probably came from something else. That's like, it may have actually come from the color of the cubes themselves. And like the green windows came from like something else. I'm struggling to remember what they actually came from, but like that's, they weren't all made for the building. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Did you do like um, a mock up and like paint or something, or did you just like go on Desmos and just start? Yeah, th this was just something. This was uh, just something I like. I made the outline of, and then as time went on, I just added more and more stuff, all entirely in Desmos. Uh, th it took me the full two months to make because it was just like something I wanted to like m put as much like put as much into as possible, and that's why I kind of have the detail slider because I knew that adding more stuff would affect performance, and I wanted yeah. to make it accessible on lower end devices. And there's also a slider to like disable certain objects in the graph to further speed up. That was also made with the intent, uh, the purpose of, like, since I hit the pie symbols throughout the graph, you're going to be zooming in a lot. And when it's slow, like, when there's so much stuff and it's really slow, it's going to be really laggy to move around. So I wanted to help that. Yeah, the judges will definitely appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Did you, uh, did you use a little implicit? <laughs> uh there are actually a, there there is uh the planets actually were made uh using implicits uh you can see like the the shine of them was made with uh, a circle function that has another circle inequality that cuts into it yeah and you can see it's it's like bugging out when i scroll past it what um. Hey, I missed this. You you submitted this one instead of Red Maze. What was the logic? Uh, instead of Don't Touch Red. Don't Touch Red. Yeah. Yeah, this was my submission. That's like I, I I could have made another game for uh for this year's submission, but like I. The thing about making a game is that, like, you have to have a finished product with it. Uh, since the whole idea of this graph is, like, you make a canvas and you add more stuff, at, like, just adding stuff over time until the deadline. But with a game, you'd have to, like, you have to come up with the, the whole idea. You have to make, like, all the levels. You have to bug fix. You have to add all the features. And you have to, like, do all that stuff. And it's just, like... It's kind of a stressful thing to do, and I didn't want to like overwhelm myself too much. That's sound logic. Yeah. yeah. So I'll I'll definitely like look into making games as well, but like th those will be on my own time when I don't have two months to submit a like a finished thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I feel like yeah. it's hard to make games artistically appealing. Mm -hmm. that has to be really polished to actually stand alone as a work of art as opposed to this which is very in the spirit of this is an art art piece for the art contest so yeah yeah sweet yeah that's pretty much it if uh the next person wants to go oh i just finished collecting the pie symbols that's so nice <laughs> oh yeah he just went on. He just the entire time. He just went on and found all of them. <laughs> no, that's what I was doing the whole time. You were showcasing the stuff. I was looking for all the pine. He was taking a close inspection. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I only managed to find seventeen. Uh, if you uh, there answer? is a there is like a little uh, like a a folder right here. Yeah, that it. has hints. Don't open it on stream though. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, yeah. That's this is awesome. Let's uh, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Yeah. It's gonna be blue. 
let me uh let me start who i had to add i had to add be, someone oh guys i know it's gonna be purple yeah if you want to be i don't be purple add, shut up to fart wait imagine if it actually lands like right between the red and fart the on me in the or oh, sorry fart on me are they in the voice chat right now i think, uh, I think so i think oh hold on Jack Lab. Hippopie? oh Hippopie. oh, oh my Hippopie. god Oh, hippo pie. That makes wow. sense. Yeah, how did they keep landing that? on blue? What are the odds? What's <laughs> <Yeah, right? laughs> The odds are one hundred percent, actually. The whole thing is blue. No, I like the impractical engineer is just impractical engine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fifty-fifty. Either it ends on blue or it doesn't. That makes sense. Oh yeah, you right. Hello. Yes, we can. Yes. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Hello. Okay, hold on, let me present. Hello. Hello. This impractical. Also, should we make it so that um, we sh in? like like Ooh. when it lands on them? Should oh, we make it so that we should send the age group in the chat each time? Or just like say it. That's insane. Oh Whoa. a beautiful skyscraper. Oh, oh wow. Awesome. Oh that. yeah, I remember this one. Ooh, this one's crazy. Cool. Oh, yeah, me too. Nice. That sky is cool. Yeah. I regret joining this call. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <one. Please confirm. laughs> we, like, the... we can just hope that most of the finalists Ooh. will be people from the Discord, and that would account for... Wait, wait, can you, yeah. can you zoom in? About the right amount. Can you zoom in on this? Oh, the sunset is so beautiful. Anyway, wow. what am I supposed to talk about? And it's just like yeah. Inspiration right. for it, technical detail. So like, um, I don't know what to do, and I just figured out how 3D stuff works. So, Taipei 101 from Taiwan. Yeah. Wait, is this like, do you use like a 3D function, or did you do this by hand? I, I use a 3D, 3D function, I'm not that crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every rectangle is handcrafted. <laughs> Wait, are the bu <laughs> defined Custom rectangles? Wait, are the buildings defined randomly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the buildings are random. Oh, wait, nice. can you click the shuffle button? Oh, oh yeah, okay. so there's, there's no shuffle. A noise function. So oh, like, so it's just like a pseudo random. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, not so using like, the Desmos right, random. That'd probably oh, take ages to start up if oh. it used the Desmos random. Uh, it's kind of slow, <laughs> so. Okay, yeah. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Oh, there we go. Wait, oh, are those cool. prime numbers? Yeah. Is there like a prime number generated? Ooh. Uh, it looks to be a source of randomness. Prime number <laughs> wow. Prime numbers do, be, prime number. prime numbers oh, do seem that, to be random, are you though. Using the, the, the Doom strategy for random number generation, where you just have like an array of numbers, just loop through it. You overestimate my math skill. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> That's like the simplest way to like, do randomness, I, I think. Thing, oh, true. The thing I like the most, possible. actually, is. The sunset and the like the windows. Can I? Can you like zoom in on the windows? Yes. This Are those randomly generated light. too? Uh, it just takes the brightness from like the noise function. Nice. Uh -huh. So it's sort of random. It's also, like, good, good, good. I mean, no, you're not using the random sort of random. You have your own like random number generator. Huh? Do you have your own random number generator? Like to it's get the it's kind of kind of like it. Yeah. Noise, sign, mean oh, sign. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. SMH, if I stack enough sine waves onto each other, it's random enough for me. That's so true. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that was Everything true. Right. 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 Four-year be like... <laughs> yes. Four-year trend. My, my like backup submission. Four-year decompose continuous random frequency. noise and then put it in Desmos. My backup submission was based on that, actually. Or one, anyway. one of them. Nice. Anyways, yeah. Me just streaming to a mic and then doing an inverse Fourier transform to get frequencies as my random number generator. <laughs> Wait, what? Go over a whole bunch of wavy. Yeah, I'd like to hear what uh, hippo pie did. Whole bunch. Of... Oh, the sky. This is the sky color. I just kind of, yeah, I just kind of threw some threw together some polynomials until it was a functioning gradient. Nice. It's really um... cool. It is a very solid image. <laughs> this image goes hard. <laughs> I will screenshot. 
Um, wall this people, is just wall people quality. Um, <laughs> yeah, the colors from the buildings are also taken from the from the sky color functions. Oh, that's actually really nice. And I like how like um when it's oh, when the buildings are closer to the sunset, they're like a bit more yellow, while the ones closer to the building are like more purple. Yeah, yeah that is cool. Yeah, there's so gradients like, everywhere. So, yes. Um. Mm. So. Uh. Okay. Like, there's. Why a is point. everybody such a talented artist? <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah. Well, I only know math. Why it's it's no. To make a submission. That's why you shouldn't submit because you're gonna lose. There's gonna be some that's guy so that's true. like true. <laughs> that's like 17. He's just gonna like be better at everything than you are. Just give up. Yeah, why but, even I don't know. try that, if you'll why always I fail? Like just I would, give up. I would, I would or you're working that. on a path that tracer while this like random 14 year old just made like a uh, path tracer that rivals like NVIDIA Portal RTX. <laughs> <laughs> Desmos. Uh, this is this is all manual, but I just plug it in. It's like a mini Terrence thing. towel but for Desmos. <laughs> wow. That's all manual? Wow. It's cool. Jesus. It's um, fast. It's right. solid. I Your remember fourth? something, but I found the thing change because I wanted to add a little bit of animation. Oh, Wait, no, the, lights, the lights the like lights on the building are changing. Yeah. yeah. Th okay, those are the buildings and th those are the colors of the lights in real life. They change oh, like cool. every day. Hmm. And then it's like seven colors every week. Huh. Oh, interesting. Um I think that's a Oh, we got the bushes. It's just a really big Bayesian curve, and then you and, oh. <laughs> uh, split it all together, and then you add Solid. the noise function. Yeah, that foreground is really effective at like giving the very uh, professional photographer feel, you know? I am a professional. That, that's a lie. I... <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering about the buildings. So they're... they're... So is there like any way to like randomize like the seed basically? Like like are the random buildings like configurable at all? Um it's just they're all it's all based on the on the noise function. You could probably but, add an offset. Yeah, so I'm like, so I'm so yeah, curious. Yeah, you can add an off like if we just like uh it'll probably change. If the graph is gonna load, oh, wow! That's yeah. that is Ooh. nuts. That is just amazing. <laughs> Wait, it's changing. It's morphing. So, <laughs> that's that's morphing. I've never seen it. So, so, like, I've never seen a graph this reliant on noise without using the built-in random function, which is so yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, this I hope. Really that... tough, though, it's like. Hold on, we're gonna like get rid of everything. Um, Whoa! Oh, oh, wow. That is noisy. That is that loud noise. noise function. Well, wow, it's not even like so noisy. Yeah. I can hear it. So <laughs> the reason why like I made my own is because I wanted. Hold on, let me. I wanted zero zero to be a thing. If it's gonna load, mm. like. Oh. It's oh. not. It does. It's not like actual, like evenly distributed. It's all like, right. It's all very soft. I mean, there's a random right random 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 of that. There's a way you can get like value noise to pass through zero zero. Too dumb to figure that out. So, just <laughs> <laughs> initial conditions. That's pretty valid. Just multiply it by like I don't know the value. Oh, okay. I just watched so a lot of three just... blue one brown, and now I just want to do a four year transform of that. How do I do a four year transform again? Uh, uh the, the integral negative like, infinity negative to infinity, e to the infinity, two infinity, pi, infinity. Uh, negative two pi i, or e to the omega t. Oh, it depends which four year transform you're using. There's like a frequency. Just explained the entire of ft like two pi fi or something. Yeah, it depends which one. Are you using the symmetric one? Are you using the? Because it depends where you put the two pi. It's like three. What? I think I think you mean tau, <laughs> not too high. Oh shit! Exactly. You right? You are so right. <laughs> I was just listening to all that. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Correct. No, replace that pi of the two with tau over four. 
<laughs> so true. Where? Oh, what? Ooh, it's a fourth Plus of a ten, buy up social credit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I should post the link of the graph. You guys do what you want yeah. with ooh. it. I see some Skywars in there. Yeah. Kind of based. Replace I'm gonna make a medium of crashing into the building. Oh, I was the first one to start it. Oh wait, no, okay. you already posted it in graph. Oh, or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> it's so Who cool that it deserves more Who wanted me to talk about songs. the bush? Me. What's, I think. What's the bush? Okay. So we got... The bush? We got Bayesian Curves. Did 9-11? What? George W. Bro. Bush. George W. Bush. <laughs> uh, so basically, I threw together some Bayesian Curves. Um, hold on. This is gonna okay. Yeah, so we have no okay. So we have this. <laughs> and then like and then Oh is I... it did you vary it using that same noise function? Oh, oh know, my I... god. Oh yeah. Shh. Nice. Wait, you even like took the derivative of it. You know calculus? No way. <laughs> I don't know okay, I just know what a derivative is. So, I don't know how you would find you know that. No calculus. But yeah, if you know what a derivative, if, if you know what you, a derivative set. is, you know you're more set. than the average. You know it, no, like, no, no, no. You know you all of the calculus. Find the <laughs> of that function. Congratulations! Huh? You only need to know derivatives. What is an integral but a backwards derivative? It is That's so, so true. true. Very true. Well, what is a derivative? Closed just integral. A limit. What is a closed oh, integral, integral limit, but a backward integral yeah, derivative? It's just what, defined what, in terms of limits. What is, what is a limit but an epsilon delta proof of a set? That is so <laughs> true. <laughs> what is what is a derivative but the murder of an H? <laughs> so true. <laughs> <laughs> the poor H. Everyone, everyone just wants to get so rid of the bad. H without asking it how its day is. No, literally, like, no. calculus books, the derivative problems on the books are just, like, find the derivative of, of x squared, and then, like, the test problems are, like, that function right there. So <laughs> true. <laughs> Thank you. How, how did you, how did you come across the definition of derivatives? Or, like, did it come up in your work? Um, I want, I want like, most. I wanted to learn more math, and, like, Calculus is like probably the next thing to learn. 3B, 1B. 3B, 1B? Yes, yes. If you're, if you're a mathematician and you don't know 3B, 1B, indoctrinating all of the children um, into calculus instead of linear, of linear algebra. SMH. He also has linear algebra. Linear algebra. I love linear algebra because all math algebra is the best. best. Everything oh, yeah, is just okay, linear so algebra. Yeah, right. Just linear it's because algebra. Because they're like linear algebra is just better. Problems, like at the corner, because oh. I'm incompetent. Oh. It's like missing a side. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I just I mean... slapped on a bush so that you can't see it. It works. How are they gonna know? <laughs> How are they gonna know? Look, I I wouldn't have noticed if you didn't say anything. How are they gonna know? True. Exactly. I don't know. Colorblind Dude, people. I, I think like. you're definitely going to get an honorable mention because this is some really cool stuff. Although there I are mean, a lot of falling guys. There's no way. You have, have like to make that at least in the top five. Oh, wait. What if is it top like, type like, judges? 20 because per age like, group. Did it on the thing say, like, they found it really hard to pick winners, so they're just going to have, like, yeah. 20 winners. Well, yeah, they, they, they usually have, yeah. like, it's like a. Yeah, but they said. They said this oh, wait, are they like not a, doing a, a top sub, three? A no, they're not. It's 20 per age group. So they're not doing a top three and then like another 20-ish like last time? No, because before they did um a top three and then 17 like finalists. But this year they're just doing 20, like 20 winners per category. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so they this don't have is... to pick out who's the best? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Interesting. I see. Which well, is good because last year the winners felt kind of arbitrary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I can't so wait for this. I can't wait for this year. It's just gonna be like, I don't know. You can pick. I wonder how many new app. like things were like discovered like for this art contest because I like because I made you know dark target calling and obviously I'm not like the most dedicated person here 
There's yeah. definitely going to be some like breakthroughs in like math or computer science that we're going to see <laughs> specifically <laughs> for this art contest. Um, Honestly, I think, I think new math is stuff. definitely going to peak next year, especially with substitutions increasing speed and all that, and all the optimizations they're planning on doing and all that. Yeah, it's only going to get better uh, every year, you know? Yeah. Literally, I'm just Performance saying, Doom is only like. I think it's like 2.73 megabytes, and you know, that's that's very <laughs> reasonable amount of bytes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. One day, one day, the, like, there's going to be like, I don't know, a significant portion of the server is just going to have like PhDs. This could be like the most unhinged, like, art contest <laughs> ever. Yeah. It's yeah, going to be like, it's going to be us with you, you. There's just going to be like papers written every single time there's an art contest. And like, you can measure like how much. Computer science, like and like math, just moves forward every single year because of the art contest. You're literal, literally <laughs> gonna, gonna see the top of our the PhD people, and then we're just gonna like you know uh, references. We're like, oh yeah, we use Desmos to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in that lab. Um, gonna it's use like the yeah, yeah, the four D Desmos in like twenty years. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait. I, I mean, like restart my computer real quick. I'm just gonna restart my computer real quick. My Discord sure, yeah. is lagging really bad. All right. We're probably moving on. If it on lags to the next on me, just right. install let's, it. Let's move on to we'll the next one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, gonna be, blue. it's yeah. gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. Yeah. Yeah. I can it's tell. I'm gonna need to speed right. this up a little bit. Yeah, well. You know, I have a feeling it's gonna be blue this time. Not completely sure. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Oh, that's blue. Oh, 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 Every yeah. time it's blue, uh, it's blue. Every wait, how is it blue? Yeah, every what time. are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds? I think the odds are 100 percent actually because yeah, all the so all weird. the whole thing's blue. So yeah, the whole, yeah, the whole thing is blue. blue. So it's, yeah, it's that all makes blue. sense. Why didn't I think about that? Because I have a PhD. That makes <laughs> sense. I wish I had one of those. One day. One day. Oh, so, the donut. Uh, the donut. Use, yeah, donut, classic donut. I gotta watch uh, donut. Basic, like, the like, most basic 3D lighting you can do. Like, the photorealistic, what is it? Uh, Glenn I mean, Fong, hey, you yeah. got colored lighting. That's Glenn really Fong, better than Minecraft. Yeah. Glenn yeah. Fong is not photorealistic. Okay, well, yeah, well, it's okay. It's physically well, based. Somewhat. It's not more, what looks cool. It's not physically based. It's not just... <laughs> it is. <laughs> I get to complain. I wrote a BRD from Desmos. I get, I get to complain. <laughs> okay, whatever. But yeah, it's close enough. Works well. Yes. Um so yeah, the lights just spin around the donut. Uh I have what are the paths? Um I don't I don't even know where I put everything. Yeah, it's a mess. Uh yeah, no, just no folders? Yeah, uh, I have no I have folders for everything, but okay, like I have a lighting setup, the so lighting calculations, uh. lights. And then the RGB, which is like also lights folder. So, yeah. I mean, you have Desmod installed. You can just see. I do. I do. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah, there's like you can mess with the light intensity, uh, ambient lighting, uh, no ambient occlusion because I wasn't able to figure that out. Um, you know, I'm just saying that entire, the, all of those lights look pro, uh, blue to me. I don't know. I don't the know color mixing is <laughs> so, so true. Blue. <laughs> Why is the whole Background thing blue? blue? I don't get no, it. Why is the whole thing yeah. blue? Um, yeah, seam removal, uh, like the specular exponent, which is, yeah, just shininess. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the background, the better background function. Uh, number of polygons, I don't know, just a bunch of random stuff. It, it's stuff. Ron Menor with RTX on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. True. I mean, ooh. What is yeah, it looks pretty smooth yeah. though, uh, considering the number of faces. Yeah, here. Let me. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to look for like a variable, and I just cannot find it. Um, <laughs> where is this? Control F. Oh, here, here. Steps yeah. here. CGLF. I do have a variables folder. I probably should have looked there first. Um, yeah. Um, but then yeah. So twenty. This is only twenty steps. But then I can do like. It's funny enough, 69 is it is nice. the exact math. Nice. It is the, it is the actual math. If I go to 70, then it's not working. Like that's here, funny. If I type in 70, then oh. over 10,000 list oh, elements. Oh, what's the? Oh, maybe okay, maybe it was being trolled. The optimization. Oh. <laughs> okay, but oh, I guess yeah. Now that it's optimized, now 70 does work. But when I made this at first, 69 was a max. Why I guess pre when you set it to zero, it just turned into a parabola. 
you, yeah, or, or when you when you turn it like very low, it goes. Okay. When you turn it to zero and one, it's just gone. But then, yeah. Oh, or <laughs> Toroidal enough for me. What is this? Uh, this one. This is the best <laughs> one. That's a bad Does it support know. multiple light yeah. sources? Is this what? Does it support multiple light sources? Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, we have two here, and then I could add another one. I didn't. I didn't like make like an interface or anything for adding them. I have uh, where is it? Oh here, lights here. So or I can do. Let's see. I can change like the colors. Like I can make uh the blue one like purple or pinkish. I guess that'll. What do you mean? That's still blue. Blue, still blue. Yeah, it's blue no matter what. Here, I can I can turn them both blue. One value, yeah, blue Looks values the up. Or, there we go. That's that's how we need the light. Um, and then we have uh, okay, let me face this back up so I can show that. Okay. Soup. See. I could change like the light uh position here. Where's um here that for like the Y position? Oh, I guess I don't have it in an easy to use way right now. But uh, wait, yeah, I don't know. It, it just follows like a circle or like an oval around the X axis and around the Z axis, Z axis, whatever it is, whatever you guys want to call it, which is not the up. Which one's up? Y is up, yeah. Uh, but yeah. oh, I have like kind of weird. So I have, I have, uh, I have X, Z, Y, but then uh, Y is up. So it's kind of weird. That's good. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah, but that's it. Then like painter's algorithm sorting towards observer, and then standard yeah dot product unit vector stuff. I don't know vector stuff. Vector math. I hate it. And then also, oh, here, I can join from my phone. I have a version in uh, in real life, a like 3D printed semi shiny donut and some blue and red finger lights. Let me let me quickly join from my phone. Oh, did you uh, base this off of that real life example? Did, it work? did you base it off of the uh, real life example? Uh no, I got this. I got my my one of my friends is a three D printer. I just had him print like a standard donut. After. Oh yeah, standard donut. Nice. You'll have to screen <laughs> share. Standard, standard, donut. Issue. You'll have to standard, share standard issue donut. donut. Everybody gets one. Uh, just showing math. <laughs> yeah, and this this is also like I didn't. I have that. It's like standard whatever three D thing, not really art contest like, because this is just something I was working on, and then decided to submit it for the art contest. So here, let me. Turn my camera on. Uh, video you can't chat. Turn your camera more on. More you than have 25 to users. Open okay. mobile screen share and screen share a camera app. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Really I'll... weird workaround, but yeah. Um, how do I mobile? How do I screen share on mobile? How do I do Depends that? what um, device you're on. It might. Yeah. Not okay. Be here. I got, I got it. Yeah. Here. Screen broadcast. Um, uh, magnet. I'm just gonna tell um like what wax scoping is useful for like. Wax, um, one time I made a 3D renderer. Here, here it is. There were like 10 nested, there were like 10 nested functions, and it ran at around 130. I wax scoped some of the functions, turned them to variables, it went all the way to like 20. Like, Shiny donut. Are they that right in real life, or is that just your camera being? Yeah, it looks like really bright. Uh, they, they're not that bright here. Let me turn the lights off. Uh, I mean, I guess they, they do look very bright, bright on camera. They're not as bright in real life, but. Uh, I mean, the colors just like blew out. The colors yeah. are very vibrant. Yeah. Oh, you I guess, and then I can compare it to. Let me pull up the graph again on my computer. Well, this this Desmos graph is really realistic. Yeah, I know, right? It looks just like real life. It, it is photorealistic. <laughs> this is a blend fog. This is the blend fog. Are you gonna Wait. eat that donut? I want that donut. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so it's I don't know, I, I, wow. I don't have like the whatever spec exact specular variables and everything as the like physical model that I have. I, just, like, I have no around. clue like what all those variables would be, but yeah, and that's cool. The lights on. Yeah, there's definitely some anisotropy going on, or is that the right word for it? 
in, so in the I, real life model. This was your lighting reference, like just to see if it's working. Oh uh, no! I just had my friend. My friend just like had a printer and wanted to print something, and I told him to print the donut. And then I ordered the finger lights off of like Amazon, just because I thought it would just be cool to do. I don't know. Basically. Mm. Well, that's that's cool. But a reveal? Like, a reveal? No reveal. No reveal. reveal. I don't know, what, I don't know what's being shared. To reveal? Screenshotted? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. Make that note. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. In the I wheel. Feeling, it's gonna be it's blue. It's gonna be purple. I know. I, I, just a hunch. Yo. Oh. Oh, it wasn't blue this no time. No way. No way. It, it was, was blue. It, it was blue. No, it actually landed on something that wasn't blue. Jeez, You're just wow. Wrong. Oh, that's blue. That's blue. I mean, you can no, I'm literally sure. wrong. It's definitely blue. That looks blue I, I, to me. Are you I don't colorblind? Know I am so dead right now. That is I don't blue. know what you're seeing right now, because that... I mean, to me, that definitely looks blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's blue. It's blue. That's what I thought. I just have a, uh, I have a uh, nightlight really high right now, so I can't actually see blue right now. Actually, who wants to That's cool. Oh, is that a shadow? Huh. Do the triangles have shadows on them? Oh, the I guess the Penrose triangles. Really quiet. My audio. Yeah, you're, you're yeah, quiet. I can barely hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Hey. Oh. Uh. Ooh, can we play chess? Or is that Othello? Oh, wait, not Othello. I forgot the name of that chess game. I still Othello can't is the name of the chess game? Huh? They're saying their mic isn't working. Hey, baby! Uh. Oh, I hear you. Wait, say a number. I guess. Oh. Kind of. Ooh, that's oh. cool. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's that's awesome. Holy moly. RGB yeah, Penrose yeah. triangles. Those gradients Whoa. are seamless. <laughs> yeah, those are really Very nice. nice. Yeah. That's cool. Me and the boys like the uh, Penrose um, Jewish Star of David question mark? Penrose Star of David with go pieces the surrounding it? David. Yeah. <laughs> Some, something like that. Oh, Tribar Mandela. Interesting. Let me check my setting. Oh, uh. solos. Interesting. Very yeah, nice. since we can't hear you. Uh, yeah. Um, if, if, if you want, we we could come back to this after and keep no, you on the rotation until then you can get your mic working. I turn on the mic. I can just, hear you. You're just. I can hear you. Quiet. You're just quiet. Yeah. Right oh, click on your yeah, headphones. Yeah. I mean, right click on your microphone and maybe set your output volume higher. Uh, let's see. I can reach my settings. I can hear now. Yeah. Uh, my audio is maybe very soft, but uh. There we go, we can hear you better now. Yeah. I just turned you up to the fact. Yeah, I turned you up to 200% too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I can zoom in. Uh, well, yeah, this is uh, the pattern. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was working on a different version, but uh, I didn't find time to uh, complete that, so. I just stuck with this version, but here's a different version. I experimented a bit with uh, polygon gradients, polygonal gradients. I but can't actually see your stream. Is that uh, just me? Yeah, the stream cut out. It appears to be frozen. No, I can. So. Well, that's that's uh, the graph. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, I see you sent it in chat. Hello. 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 Hi, Hello. Dom and Nexus. Well, I don't know if I'm uh, still audible. Chess or man the, uh... is here. It's still oh, quiet. I can still hear you. It's chess man. Okay. Well. Uh, <laughs> chess Whatever. Man. It, it's fine. See what the graph, but uh, it's just uh, a kind of random pattern. I uh, also have some uh, variations of it, but uh, basically it's just like a static pattern, and yeah, you can animate it. Uh, Play the play this variable, and then it will slowly spin, and uh, the colors are very slowly round, and uh, yeah, you can kind of. Oh, I think your stream is paused right now. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Isn't it? Uh, right. Yeah. Okay, is it working now? Here. Wait, like, that looks sick. Doctor, find American Michelle. Oh, I got a little. All right, well then. Here, uh, I, I apologize. I just, I do want to keep rotation going. I won't put you off the list. Um, here. Just because, like, I can't hear. Also, Dominic's, your microphone's on. Um, oh, oh, you're probably hearing the people in the background. I'll turn push talk on. Yeah. Uh, Dominic six. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm going... Well, that was uh, basically the cross. I'll I'll spin the wheel again, just yeah, for okay. for brevity's sakes. Um, but I'll keep I'll keep you on. So, lens can work on that. All right, I'm spinning the wheel again. Just to what's get... the purpose of the wheel spinner account again? The wheel spinner is to spins the wheel. Oh, it spins the wheel. I'm live streaming it. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel spinner oh, spins the wheel. wheel. It spins the wheel. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. Wow! I knew it. Wow! It's blue. Is it? Oh my gosh! It's impractical it's energy. Go again. Impractical energy. Oh, I actually did forget the oh, ID. <laughs> Impractical engineer, woo. Impractical engineer when the practical engineer, engineer walks in. So oh, true. <laughs> impractical engineer's actual region name is, uh, username is actually impractical engine. E N G I N E. Engineer. I N G E N G. Oh boy. Whoa. This looks like a game. Whoa. Oh, yes. Paint! Oh, you are extremely quiet. Mm -hmm. Uh, screen's black. We can't see anything. Things turning a bit. Wait, does it, it matches your browser theme. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tanks. Yeah. Explanation mark. I can't believe it's not tanks. <laughs> yeah. Basically, you have these two little oh, you're really quiet. just represent them as dots. And whenever you fire, it'll be very laggy and it'll shoot bullets. Hang on. So it'll just follow a mm. curve, which is actually calculated because for some reason I couldn't figure out how to find the right equation that matches it Ooh. but then you can also change like the angle and stuff and it'll also destroy the terrain um there's different types of ammo you can equip if you have the uh ammo for it which you can buy in the shop here and oh, it's cool the terrain you know, deforms and stuff yeah, so I have all the data for like just the pricing and all that stuff set into this. This is just how I like set a bunch of list variables at once. And I just have a bunch of other lists. 
My variables are very badly named, so I don't even know what half this stuff is doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Be like that sometimes. It's pretty typical. Yep. I think the M1 and M2 is the money. It'd be like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, how do I give players ammo? Um, I'm just going to give them a bunch of money. That's one of those scenes where like, you shoot a cannonball. You could also cannon. give me a bunch of money. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, whenever you hit the enemy player, it'll give you money back. You get like 250 bucks if you get final, so you know, there's your money you can get. That's true. I'm really bad at this. I used to be very a lot better. There we go. So it went up by 50 bucks. But whenever you fire a normal shell, it doesn't cost anything. So you can also move your player left and right, which costs fuel, which you have to buy more of. You can also buy more health if you're if you need some. So like, whenever he buys that, it goes up by whatever. Um, you can buy different types of shells. So if I equip a large shell and just like fire it into the ground or something. It'll have a different like radius of impact and also give you extra money as well as do more damage. So there's also like the sniper shell, which has like a very low area of effect but has high damage. So if I just fire it into the ground and I actually equip it. I have a question. Yeah. Are you able to dig a tunnel, or is it strictly a height map? It's strictly a height map. Um, okay. I might remake it where it just shows the ones that have air next to them, and then, like, tries to follow a line, but I'm not really working on this project anymore. Um, so there's also, like, the drill thing, which doesn't actually do any damage, but digs a lot. Um, there's also a barrier shell, which took a while to make because it has separate functions to all the other stuff. So if I equip the barrier, then whenever I fire it, instead of taking away land, it'll actually just place it in like a big circle. Ooh. So, and then I also have... So you can reset slash new map. You can also have another button for generate new terrain. So these are the two top things. Uh, these are, I don't know what these are doing. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what those are. Okay, those are all just the actions, I think. Uh, laggy equations, sure. So, this contains the list of all the terrain points. So you can see, whenever I toggle this on, it'll it'll show all of the terrain as dots, which are really bright for some reason. Um. And it takes forever to open and close. Completely forgot I had my mic. List. Um, oh, what you're doing. Oh, right. No, that's something different, I guess. So this is the function that generates new terrain from the given thing. So if I decrease my screen size, then maybe I'll be able to show the whole thing. It's just a really long combined equation of all the stuff that it has to do. Um, Latex. Fun. I do have a question. Yeah. I noticed that um, the list of points that you showed, it seemed to have a bunch of points 
um, like as a grid of points. But if it's just a height map, why wouldn't you just have uh, points representing the surface level and then those move down by increments? One, because I didn't think of that, and two, because <laughs> uh, it's trying to do a circle. I don't know. I just didn't think of that, really. I'm, I'm just yeah, saying. I guess it'd just be the, like testing the, distance the user, the explosion. The username is fitting. Steven? Or what username? Oh, I'm practicing. Your username is fitting. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a really cool graph. Yeah. Uh, it is. If I can find the equation that I used to generate the terrain, that would be nice. I don't know if I can. Also, here's a simple equation for finding the height of the viewport or the or things. I don't know where it is. Oh god, I opened up the laggy equations thing again. Um. Yeah, I don't have that much to talk about. Um, if you kill the other player, it shows a windscreen that adjusts to the height of the thing. Is, is this it? Oh, I think that. I don't know. I haven't opened this graph in forever, to be honest, so I don't know what anything is doing. Painable, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think that's all mine is. Okay. Yeah, good job, very man. Cool. Yeah. yeah, very cool graph. Yeah. Very nice aesthetic. Thanks. Yeah. The the matrix thing is very cool. I think it's like a matrix aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was also just like the easiest thing to make because uh, it's just a line. Thing is very cool. All right. Yeah. I mean, all right, I mean, campers. <laughs> Spinning the wheel. Spinning the wheel. All right, spinning the wheel. All right, campers. All right. Campers. Oh my god. Oh my, so good. Oh, oh someone has god. echo. <laughs> How many times has it landed on edge? Someone definitely has a bit of echo. Wait, who's managing the wheel? Have an era. Have an era. Is there echo right now? Um, no, I don't hear any. Was uh, Turk Nick. Oh my. All right, yeah. can you hear me? Yes. Yep. yep. Surprise. All right. So basically, um, I just made a really simple 3D <laughs> graph. Um, the name is Mittens. Yeah. Um, it just uses rotation matrices and then polygons. Um, I did do some back. Man, the chest spot. Really the chest spot. Um, also, I didn't use anything to help me, so I did all this manually. So it's like a, way too many expressions. It should be a lot less, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, for a first three D graph, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, are What's those the cat eyes looking at? points? Uh, yeah, the eyes are points. Um, I basically, I just made a three-point, or maybe it's two-point polygon, um, and then just did the normal cooling stuff um, that had its center as um, each point, so the points disappear when, like, they would normally disappear. That's cool. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. All right. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin it. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be, gonna be blue. Wheels. Spinning. This isn't that thrilling mm -hmm. anymore because everyone knows it's, it's gonna, gonna be three blue, blue one bound. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should probably oh, remember. Cool. Wait, Jake Walker oh, yeah. already went. Probably. Wait, Jake Walker already went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you guys forgot to remove my. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. Two times in a row. What are the odds? In and out? There's no way. It's a 50 50 chance. 
It's blue. Yeah, it's blue. Oh, <laughs> I just realized, I just realized oh, what your name blue, was. But uh -oh. Moving at normal speeds. Oh, you're ready. Hello, Artone. everyone. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, my Hello. God. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Whoa. That's Hot a cool graph. Man. Hot men Google search? Hot men Google search? Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Men? Don't worry about that. Hot men? Uh, so I made this all by myself. Milky Way. Yo, all yeah. by myself, and then some some guy named Neutron Bob tried stealing my idea. Who the hell is that? I don't, yeah, know, I don't, know who I don't that like is. him. He, it's weird. <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> okay, so like, the so earth I, is... In a, really... in a minute, um, Eli's house will pop up in Orge Dot. What what is oip.jpg? That's a good question. What is that? Oh, that's the Earth. Oh no, what's that? Oh. No, I'll just okay, buy so I have two questions. I don't know if I have answers, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, the, why do you know where? Wait, why do you know where Eli lives? Don't ask, don't worry about that. Next question. <laughs> so like, it's really cool and everything, but one, why do you have over a thousand unread YouTube notifications? And two, what is that search? Uh, first, the first question is that's not important. The second part is, I got bored. Okay. Um. Oh God. Um, happens um, to the best of us. It does happen to the best of us. Uh, where's, what, what's where's the, the point on Eli's house? What's the, what's uh, the DT on this animation? What's the what with the who with the? That was my third question. There's no DT. It looks like it's going on a slider. It's a slider. Yeah. It is a slider because I'm just too good for that. I'm too what? good for that. Yeah. I'm too good for that. How's the MS to render frames? I don't know. The... Do you I hope someone at gunpoint point to make the... this for me. Do you know exactly what the source Jack, of you're the a to your manager. very Where's large Bernard? receding content Bro, on the left? Bernard, the Bernard is everywhere. Bernard is with us at all times. But where's Bernard? Yeah, but where? Somewhere. Over what? yonder. Wait, wait, go, go back down to the bottom. Bernard, you feel it, him. Control yeah. plus H, what does that do? Hit Alt F4 for free <laughs> god mode? Oh, yeah, oh. I know, yeah, I, I was <laughs> No, 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 yeah, Hit the a... X button on the second tab before, uh, like, there's a misclick and we're all scarred for life. This one? Uh-oh. Oh no, you, you <laughs> previewed it. You. Of course it's Bing, too. <laughs> oh. 57 so, most beautiful men in the, in the world man. right now. 2023 list. Who wants to go with me? <laughs> At least he has 65,000 okay. Microsoft you, points. Remember? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 no way. No. So, okay. It's gonna be there forever. We're getting off, we're getting um, off track. Do you, do you have I know my mom is in the room. Of the very Being large man, continents of that art. mysteriously appear and recede at the edge of the Earth. Yeah, because the yeah. Earth isn't real. Um, so I don't want to hear it. Very true. Thank you. I think it's. Um, flat. I think this is inaccurate. No, this is not yeah, it's, accurate it's at all. It's actually flat. I it's don't. It's actually like... in the shape of a dinosaur. No, obviously it is a sphere, but we're on the inside of the sphere. That I makes don't know. So the that, creature yeah. I'm looking at looks looks. Really on a flat screen. I think it's an accurate representation. There's a oh, there's a spherical portal. No. So we go up into space. We if I go to natronbomb.com. Yeah, and like who's the that? Stars are just cities on the other side but, of the no, hollow device. earth. I just so want to expose someone real quick for stealing one of my graphs. <laughs> I don't have it on there yet. No, no, no. You stole one of my graphs. Well, hold on, let me find it. You I didn't know that this was a thing. My graphs. I don't know even know who you are. You're not even real. <laughs> Oh, you made the literary 1984 one? I saw someone share that. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. That, one's not, that, one, that one's too easy for me. What is Metaballs? I, I made this that one. Looks... I made... Oh, yeah. I made Metaballs. Oh. <laughs> okay. That looks like a lot like the one that I made. <laughs> Metaballs. <laughs> Balls. Let's, oh, let's check it out. Among I us. think Among Us is my, my magnum opus. Us. Among Us. Oh, let's check this out. Got the Foy Give it a minute. Us. Give it a minute. Okay, let's see. Yes. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Nature, how could you steal this from me? Wait, can I go through the oh, I can go walk through Nature? Yeah, no, I didn't implement collision. This took me like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, that just an, is that just an image? Yeah, it's a massive image. <laughs> <laughs> Truly oh my god, I'm, how do I how do I vent? How do I vent? How do I vent? Do I vent? Hit all the four. Oh, Jack, four. This is see if it's possible. <laughs> I don't have an alt button on my keyboard. Wait, can you vent? What? Control vent, W. Vent, vent. <laughs> Control W. That's 
So no, imagine actually, imagine if Nigel actually implemented an imposter and it suddenly just comes out of nowhere. That would be no. so cool. I would do <laughs> so that. Funny. The imposter would be George Orwell. That makes no. sense. That does make sense. Okay, no, seriously, let's find the graph he stole from me. If I don't. What what graph are you talking about? I'm looking about? for it. Hold on. Are you talking about my art contest submission? I didn't put. It's no, not no, no. here. No, 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 no. No, you did steal that too, though. God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think we're getting a tad bit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should move on. We move on. We definitely should. Spin the wheel. It's going to be blue. This is my opinion on the server right now. Yeah, we should spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Give that wheel a good rotational I tried really hard on the CSS. CSS? Yeah, on matronbomb.com. I tried really hard on it. I don't, I really don't need to add more leaves to wheel. It's gonna, it's, gonna it's gonna be blue. 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 Green! Oh, 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 the odds. Yes. Okay. I'm so dead. It's blue. Wait. Oh, wait, no. You, you, you went away. Oh, wait. This is the fourth time oh, it's my almost movie. been me. Dude, yeah. you gotta start removing people. Yeah. No, stop go. clicking hide and click remove. Remove? I, no, no, no. That. No, no, it did it. It's fine. It takes. Some so time. that's the thing with the website. When you hide them, like fine, this whatever, mark, it actually removes okay. them. There you go. Let's see. We Bro, got a who one is out of six dot e -E blue. Person. Who? Did, what do they want with me? Oh my god. There you go. Oh, Tile oh, snake. Yeah. Oh. I always oh, pronounce it tear snake. I thought it was tile snake. Tire snake. It's tear snake. Give me a thing. No, it's Tart Next. No, it's gotta be Tear Snacks. I will, I will never not read it as no, Tart Snake. No, it's Turks are at next. No, Turks have next. You're no, wrong. I, think I, don't you guys are all I don't wrong. even care if it's your username. You're wrong. I don't, I don't think you guys are. <laughs> Wait, Tyric Tyric I think it's next. more of like. No. Con wait, my show is wrong. You know? Wait, wait. Can I like restart my comb for a second? Just come back to me later. It's okay, I, I guess. I, I guess. I guess. Spin, a, spin again? Yep. Okay. Spin the wheel! Spin the wheel! Oh, oh he's not going? Uh, he, he, he has to restart his computer, he said. Uh, oh, we can skip him for now. Let's make Chan oh, go. Okay, sorry. I want everyone to see the spin the wheel. Let's go, it's let's gonna go. Blue. It's the... gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna no be way. blue. No way. It's no way. <laughs> no way. Oh my no God. God. It's blue. Odds. No way. What are the odds? Already, I mean, before, before you go, I want to tell you something, man. Oh. Actually, never mind. I'll, I'll tell you in DMs. Okay. All right. Love you. Okay. Um, no, okay. Yeah. Do you guys I cannot say you? the same. Anyways. No, no. You, you don't know who I am. I'm me. Why the fuck are you? I think oh, everyone. I think he's getting teamed, guys. Talk to you before it was exactly. Nobody knows who I am. I'm. You're not real. I don't. Who even are you? All right. Oh, it's a random scientist. Actually, can, um, can you people see my uh my screen? I'm looking forward to this one. Yo, oh my, uh, I can. I I can feel the audio is so good. Wait, Ron War, is yours up there? Is yours the name on the oh wheel? Oh my god! Wow, that looks like that took forever to render. Um, actually, it didn't. So. Um, he stole. <laughs> yeah, so this is mine. Th yeah, this is an implicit equation. Uh, Ray Caster, I suppose, is the oh, technical term. Mm. Um, but I have a, a pretty basic starting sequence um, that it goes through, and it just optimizes a couple things and makes it trace and like step forward faster. But um, the the main sort of cool feature, I suppose is um these oh wait not these ones these ones so um you can change the the colors at any point like in the process ignore the background but you can see it's animating the colors because oh my it's, god that's uh, actually kind of that's cool ah. that's cool that's nice thanks it's actually kind of fast. and um the the colors are based on this noise function really? or three noise functions right and i do have a specular map but it's not exactly like completely um uh, you know, robust. I didn't have time to make it. It's very advanced. Uh, yeah, 70. no, of course. It's it's super duper, <laughs> super duper advanced. Uh, you can see some parts are like shinier than others, and some parts are less shiny-ish, kind of. Um, that's cool. That's that's one of the less developed features, but 
Yeah, so basically what it does is it just goes through and it stores um, the the positions of the intersections in 3D space. And then every time um, it reaches this uh, like num forward limit, it um, steps like it steps the starter variable forward. And what that does is it activates the shadows. What the fuck is um, that image? What? Oh, sorry. What? It's just when I got that was when I got banned the first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that starts the shadows, right? So if I run this, um, this variable right here will go forward for each step that's taken, and it actually speeds up, um, like for every point that's solved, because it stops calculating um, for each point that's solved, right? Um, or like for every intersection that it finds. But now it's gonna the go through the shadows right? and recalculate the shadows, um, and then after the it does that, it wait, sorry, what was that? You can up the resolution, right? Oh yeah, I can, but it would take much longer because this laptop is a uh, work of old art. One. <laughs> right. Very old one. But yeah, right now it's just retracing the shadows, and you can see they went away there for a second, but they'll be back at the next tick. Um, and then it'll go through that cycle repeatedly, so what it does, it uh, traces up to the set limit, activates shadows, restarts, then increases accuracy. So over time it'll increase accuracy, but, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else, really, other than, like, adjusting the lights. Um, but right now it's at the laggiest point in the process, so it's, you're not gonna see it. Um, and then, of course, there's my, my ranting paragraphs on how to use it. Nobody's gonna read that. Um, but, yeah. Read me dot MD. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you move the camera? Uh, yes, you can, um, but you'll have to Slow. retrace fully. So if I ah. set the starter variable back to zero, um, you'll see some weird stuff happens, but you can uh, definitely like move the camera. Let me just move it like closer, for example, and maybe like farther to the left. And then I'm, I'm just going to lower the resolution to spare you guys. Um, Very nice. See, you should have used dot target calling. Would have been so much faster. Yeah, you know, you can't exactly you can't do that with implicits. <laughs> so Yes you can. Um, oh no, no, you can't. hundred um, percent. Only if you generate like, a mesh. You don't you don't really need to. You could just like find out the like the maximum like distances or whatever. Just hundred percent some way to do it. <laughs> e, not not for any implicit. For some implicit implicits you some. can, but because this is a quartic equation, um or at least this this like cube looking thing is um it's actually not 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 feasible to have a general solution for the intersection or mm. for the distance like from the camera that it will be so yeah um oh yeah oh, now it's just showing nice. shadows and you can see there are two sunlights so wherever um there are wherever it's excluding light from both lights it'll be darker from one light it's you know slightly lighter and so on but um and then it'll start showing the colors and, and whatnot. But that's yeah. really cool. Any questions? What uh what age what age category are you submitting this to? Uh fifteen sixteen. What? Oh, nice. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Literally next year I'm gonna like die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the graphs keep getting better each year. Step it up. <laughs> yeah. You're not it submitting anything for two years in a row. Actually, I think I will submit something next year. It's going to take you know, a while to do that. Yeah, I definitely want to incorporate substitutions completely in this one for next year. Or, or I have, whatever I, I have. I have ideas, but whether or not those ideas are going to work, whether or not it's going to be ideas. laggy. <laughs> my my <laughs> biggest contendo is lag and the five megabyte limit. Oh, yeah. That's, my, sure. that's always my mm. two biggest peeves. Heaven knew and knows that. I might well, try you the first one to find out about the five megabyte limit? Probably not. But... Oh, definitely not. People, I think Fireflame found out about it. Mm. At least, at least before it used to be a generic Wait. error message, but then they patched it. Wait, were you were you like the first person to um find find out about that error, but without importing a lot of images? Uh, I don't know. I don't I think don't it know. takes that much to hit the five megabyte limit. Yeah, no. If you I have was, like, if you have a lot of lists, just import images. I think yeah, I if think you import a lot of images, that's already enough. Yeah, if you generate a list, like a lot of 
lists, it like hits the limit very, very, very yeah. fast. Well, as you can see now, it's tracing rather quickly, actually. Um, it's generating the image, and it'll get faster as it encounters more intersections. And yeah. Wait a second, why? That's... So it's like progressive? That's very cool. Yeah, it's progressive. How, yeah. how does a function... Like insurance? Wait, a function... It works with just <laughs> no algorithms. Uh, sorry, what was that? Like the action, it's a, it's a function with no arguments. Uh, I mean, yes. No. Technically, yeah. you don't need the parentheses there. If it's an action. Mhm. Mm yeah, you can do it without arguments. And also, you can see I, I tried to implement the uh, the substitution feature like last second just to speed up the uh, the shadow <laughs> shadow tracing process. Yeah, they like um, they added substitution in like the last day. Yeah, it was last two days or whatever, but. I was so mad was, about that. I, I did that too. But <laughs> now, like, uh, really, that, really that means funny. your graph. Yeah. <laughs> that means your graph doesn't work on mobile. Mobile app, what, at least. Womp? Oh, oh yeah, because yeah, the app is a couple features behind. Yeah, I was trying to do that, and then it it couldn't it didn't work. We need to tell Eli. Let what, they don't have, like, width? Well, oh, Eli knows about it. No, they don't have substitutions, newest feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. I forgot about that. The activity yeah. builder also doesn't, so they take Oh, interesting. Oh. And there we go, got shadows. So, nice. yeah, yippee, mm. woo! It only took, uh, I think that was like two or three minutes for, uh, <laughs> however many that was. So, they say you took I think that's three minutes pretty... to make this entire graph. Yeah, we can make a game with this at this rate. That's cool. Oh yeah, yeah. This is but, awesome. Uh, I think that's all. Although the I kind of want to show of off my them. backup graphs that I had, if anybody's interested. Or. Backup oh, graphs in case this one proved physically impossible. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so I have uh, this eye that I made. Um, oh, and this oh, was Waxia. Waxia. Oh, this was... No way. Yeah. This is definitely Waxia. And this was just like I made this in like a couple of days, just because I knew that my ray tracer was probably going to be pretty impractical or really slow. Um, but yeah, that was my first submission. But. I don't see very much room for the nose. Yours does have shadows, so it is technically more ray tracer than a, just a plain raycaster. Because mine, true. mine is just like a plain raycaster. Like it, it, that is the only thing it does. It just casts rays. But this thing actually like some like somewhat traces them. So it's, you can call it if you want to be real fancy. You can call it a bidirectional, uh, implicit ray tracer. <laughs> By yeah, yeah, by directional. Just Wait, throw that go back to picture. go back to Waxia's face reveal. Wanda wants to see it. May face up. reveal. <laughs> this face reveal? What? No way. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. I get it. Yeah. Wow. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, the the next person can go now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Thanks. Yep. Gotta be blue. Very nice. Oh, I hope it's blue, yeah. Wait, God, I hope it's blue. It's not blue. I'm gonna freak out. I'm just... Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Um, el uh, Ellipse was completely blue. Uh, sorry, let me just hide that. Uh, so... Um, <laughs> there you are. Looks like more names need blue. to be added to the it's wheel. gonna be blue. We'll add yeah. What are the odds? Um, yeah. Yeah. What in a billion? What in a billion? It was just two and five. No percent. Is my no. microphone working oh, good? Oh, hundred percent yeah. blue. <laughs> okay. Uh, because of complications, I can't present it myself. Can someone else present my graph for me? Yeah, I got you. Can I do it? Okay, oh, I'll just please. send in the voice channel. I did it first. Ah. Wait, I want to test my stream. Hold on. Listening. Let me just open it up and I'll try to stream. Oops, I copied. The... Boom. Look at that. I did it first. Ha ha. Sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, the snake. The all right, yeah. The snake. Okay, what do you want? Snake. Tell me exactly oh, what gee, to do. It's like me, but without the tire. <laughs> <laughs> you're so you're so right. I'm sorry. This is... Ooh, tire snake. This is bugging out. I'm going to reset. It should only take like a second or two. Hello. Oh, oh hi, sense? Manny. That is gorgeous. Wait, well, have you have you add oh. Manny to the yeah uh, Manny's add wheel? And also, if anyone else isn't on the wheel, just at me. Oh, awesome. mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not on the wheel. 
Yeah, I should oh, be back. Okay, so whose turn is it now? It's a uh, Mr. Mr. Ballista's. It's uh, mine. Mr. Ballista. Yeah. Um, basically, I like snakes, so I made a snake. That is about all I have to say, unless you guys have questions. No way. No way. way. It's it's the six so that we wrote in the description. I like the coloring. by Tile Snake. I'm sorry, what did you say? Tile snake. Yeah. Was this in any way inspired by Tile snake? Um, I don't know what that is, so probably not. Damn. He doesn't know who you are. <laughs> no, it's like a, it's a weird <laughs> pronunciation of my name. Tile oh, snakes. Mm. What, what oh, you... if it's him, then of course. Like some people pronounce this. Wait, how yeah. many times <laughs> are Okay, I've um, seen a bit oh of the background on the, on the underside, like... Where where the first curve from the head, there's a bit of background showing. Wait, so is it a yeah, is it polygon? Right or... right oh oh, there we go. Mm. Oh yeah, it's just greater than oh, and less. Oh, that's oh, the opposite ever. Yeah. yeah, this is one thousand lines. Very impressive. Wow. Yeah, most so, of them so, are just so, so, Wait, two 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 questions. Uh, one, did he do it by hand? And two, is it just like polygons, or did he use other? Functions too. They're all functions, ID, but I uh, right? use regressions and copy pasted. So if you open up most of the folders, you'll just see like, well, not the text one, but understandable. Yeah. That's that's how I did mine. Just go into the oh my, zero post. just go into like the head, yeah, middle head color or something. Yeah, yeah. It's just wow. an insane oh those are Nice. Any yeah, quality? just oh a God, bunch of regressions. Mine? Nice. And Relatable. I forget where it is, but if you figure out how to um erase the background, you'll see that I use like the same background color uh, to um it, I use the background color in order to um is shape. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Basically that. Uh, uh, it wasn't wait, working on my screen. That that little part for the snout, just because nice. it's so high detailed. Yeah, because of some of my equations, they just it. If you zoomed out to see the entire thing, it, they just wouldn't load correctly. So I just so I just made some extra polygons with the same color as the background to like make it big enough where it loads correctly, and then use the background to mask it as its outline, I guess. That's interesting. You, that, and I really appreciate that because usually, like, this is all implicits, right? Like, that you're so prone to rendering glitches with implicits. And here, I, I don't notice any. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. 90% of the time took up just copy pasting lines and all that. The other 9% was just editing it so that way it actually looked correct. Like in the eye, you can see uh, in the eye you can see that there's a glitch already. But if you zoom in, it's all it's all fine. Once it yeah, works. such is the nature of implicits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, implicits suck. Other than that, I am all good. Have, Have you tried right? this with uh, GLSmos? Um, Lesmos. that reminds oh, yeah. me. Um, Wait. what is a Desmoder? I still don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh, 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 you guys find out today. Wait. All right, guys. Oh, no, I'm enabling. Should, oh, I don't think you can use GLX most for this because you have to d d enable it for all of the implicits. Yeah, don't worry. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, <laughs> 1, 1, oh, 1,000 no. lines. Here we go. Oh, we got this. Oh, oh, someone send a script oh, somewhere for that enable Glasmos for all implicits. All right, who's going to put a script for that? Yeah, the honestly, I think you should have Um, yeah. uh, Deathwater is a Chrome extension. Oh, wait, like, wait, Fireflame. One Fireflame. of the features. Maybe not like for. Oh, yeah, you go. Maybe ahead. not enable for all. Maybe not enable for all implicits, but like everything in the folder. Would that be okay? That'd be it. Yeah. Q does rule. So, no, what is it? Desmodder, one of the features that Desmodder has, uh, and this is extremely helpful, uh, it completely hijacks the, uh, the implicit renderer for shading inequalities, so graphs like this, and it uses your GPU instead. So it does, like, 
it pre it compiles it beforehand, and then when it's running, it's blazing fast. So yeah, it's uh, incredible. Some, something to consider for implicit graphs for this one, it'd be it'd be great. So like when he's done extension, that's yeah, it's yeah, a Chrome ex- Chrome Firefox. Chrome or Firefox. Oh, that's going to be a problem. My school blocked it. Oh, oh, God oh, damn it. oh no, your school nah, is cringe. So Wait, can, can you build it yourself? <laughs> what? If it's on the Chromebook, I'd assume not. Developer not. Mode, they, they oh, no, no, the Chromebooks are locked down. I doubt you'd yeah, be they able don't to. Let you, I, they don't let you turn uh, it down. At my old yeah, school, it was Discord, the same way. There was no yeah, way. Discord is blocked. I just went into oh. settings and disabled some of the restrictions. In fifth grade, I was, oh. when I had my Chromebook, um, I was actually considering like taking it apart and like removing, like I mean, going to... online searching for a tutorial. Well, if you can, honest, uh... it really depends on how competent your IT guy at your school is. Yeah. Well, it, what you can try is like in in the in the Chrome, you can you can open up uh, like the extension menu, and then enable the de- developer mode if they allow you to do that. And then in that case, you can download the extension from GitHub, and then just unpack it, and then, uh, yeah, use it from there. Yeah. Gotcha. Quick problem, um, GitHub is also blocked. Oh. What? Wait, We can send you Why? a zip file, I guess. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, you can't manually install Chrome extensions on school computers, either. Oh, they blocked that, too. Yeah. They generally turn that off. Damn. Nice wait, day wait, to be homeschooled. So the Chromebooks that I have allow bookmarklets, so you can put JavaScript code into a Oh, bookmark. yeah. Yeah, they, oh, they don't gosh. actually have ways to restrict bookmarklets. It's, um, that I don't know if it's possible with wait, Chrome Enterprise wait, Policy. Install, uh, what is it? Monkey, monkey script. It's called Monkey script. Tamper Monkey. Tamper Monkey. LAUSM, the school that I'm using, the school that I am at, they do not block Tamper Monkey. For whatever reason. That's funny. So I just have a couple of Things ported to Tamper Monkey, so I can I can just run them. Okay, I think I got most of the implicits, but I could be wrong. And um, you may notice a glitch or something. It's like it's a minor, just a minor glitch in my screen. It's um. Wait, can you ask your school to install Tamper Monkey? Just say it's like a. They will not agree a, to that. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> definitely not Tamper Monkey. Desmodo is yeah. Desmodo is like, Desmodo directly, yes, but you, you can Desmodo. actually run a fetch request. Wait, grab no, 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 the no. Let's make an extension. Let's make an extension. Call it um school to do list or something, and then it's actually just so like a console true. thing. Yeah, <laughs> just do that. <laughs> totally won't get in trouble. No, yeah, that's, of course that's not. Some, definitely not. Yeah, broader. actually, can we do that? Wait, wait, wait. How, how do I make it? Yeah, you can probably ask your school to approve Desmodder. Although, like, getting extension, getting anything approved through, like, school enterprise is so annoying. Like, because they're. It's all yeah. Hmm, is this school appropriate? Is it useful for, um, what is it, critical thinking skills or something? Educational purposes. And they just don't trust you at all. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm missing a couple little icons up here. But uh, if Mr. Ballista is done, you know, presenting his thing, then we can move on. I am all good. Sweet. Okay, okay I can I can stop killing my computer now. Sweet. <laughs> Spin the wheel. It's gonna be, be blue. It's gonna be blue. Blue. It's gonna be 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 blue. Spin the wheel. It's blue, it's blue, it's blue. Natural! Blue. Yes! Oh. No, wait, wait, it's gonna be red. Oh, oh, oh. 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 What the hell? That was so screwed close. up. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the will. You know you can <laughs> change the color to everyone's blue. At least it was blue. <laughs> and yeah, at least it was blue. It at red least red it was blue. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very blue. sorry, Nature Bomb. Oh, it's okay. As long as it's blue, I'm happy. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Um, so this is, this is my graph, um, it's an audio trace plus animation graph, and it is, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in just a moment, but this, this graph is like, so the first thing I want to uh, show off about it is the, the viewport, uh, because that was absolute pain, so as you can see here, I have the viewport set. But the, the watch this, it, it automatically keeps 
the aspect ratio constant. Ooh. Which oh. was absolutely oh, wondering about that hell um, to to make it work. Now, if you drag it like all the way and make it like too wide, then it's, it'll tell you like this is not supported. But if it's below a sixteen by nine aspect ratio, it'll just automatically resize everything. Um, oh my god, that's actually insane. Yeah, that was. Absolute hell to 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 deal with, um, especially with the viewport bugs. Um, so oh, it's so yeah. And then the other thing is, even though I would really love to like show you guys both the animation and the audio trace at the same time. Uh, yeah, just like opening the uh, let's see, yeah, just like opening the audio trace. For like and playing it will cause this to go up to like fifteen thousand milliseconds. <laughs> um, oh my so god! So I I guess uh, yeah we can listen to the uh, audio trace first, um, and then we uh, let me know. I guess hopefully the stream music. Yeah, will make work. sure you're streaming the window. Uh, I don't know OS you're using, but like be careful about that. Yeah, I think I'm streaming the window, uh, so it should work. I see like your sidebar on the left. So, oh yeah, what that's with LD. What OS are you using? Is that like Linux? I think that's uh, just Opera GX. No, but that's Vivaldi browser. Oh. Mm. Uh, I'm currently on Windows 10. Uh, I I use Arch by the way on my laptop, uh, but anyways, <laughs> sad to say that. Chad. Yeah. Um, Anyway, here's the uh, the audio trace. I don't hear anything. Fifteen thousand ms. Yeah, it's playing now. No, it's fifteen thousand ms. Yeah, I'll play it. All right, go for it. The cool thing is, uh, because I, I use the, uh, I don't use the, uh, I, I keep it centered. So I can, I have the option of like using the center, normal octave, and then like the left, and then the right, and then also like the, the thing with the octave. Um, I guess I can also open up the, uh, like the, uh, just quickly show the score file. Um, change stream, change windows to new score. Uh, this is the uh, score if anyone is curious. Um, and that's like the fast uh, triplet section. So it's, it's divided into three sections. Um, 
And as you'll see in the animation in just a moment, um, the first section, the A section is like the, uh, there's a first world and then there's a second world and then there's a third world. Um, so yeah, that's the score. Uh, um, things I've been able to know what it Um, so yeah, so that, so now we can look at the uh, animation, um, and I guess I'll make it a little bit bigger. Oh, also, other note is like this is running the newest version of my audio trace template, which means you can also get like the uh, visualizer, which is pretty cool. So these are all the notes visualized um, in the audio trace. Yeah, you mentioned you couldn't, you can't get that to run at the same time. That sucks. Yeah, so, yeah, if you look at this, so right now, you can, if I start running the ticker, you can see it's, it's, it's 90 milliseconds. It's, it's, it's respectable. Um, wait. Oh. Oh, I know. See, see, it's, it, it already decided to freeze because I was selecting that. Uh, equation. See, now it runs normally just fine, right? 100 milliseconds. It, it's okay. But as soon as I select this this thing, it just it just comes crashing to a halt. And in a moment here, you're going to see this thing is going to turn up to like 15,000. <laughs> oh, because it's, it's tracing it, right? Like it's finding the intercepts. Yeah if, you, oh. you know, yeah, if you just even select that equation, the whole thing just stops. <laughs> So how many? Can, how many are there? Like how many? How many? How? What's the length of that? Oh, just like a hundred and fifty or so elements in that okay. list. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, <laughs> and, and there's fun. like, I mean, yeah. You can you can look at the giant table of notes. I should also stop the ticker. Um, yeah, this is the note table. So you can see each there's a there's 150 notes. This is and each note has to have a length. There's the toggle for the octave effects if it's on the left or the right side. Then there's the effect plugin system, and then some effects also use para extra parameters. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. But that, that's uh, later in the animation. So, anyway, yeah, kind of sad you can't run both at the same time, but it is what it is. Um, so, I will set the time to zero. All right, and uh, here's the animation. So originally there's this countdown because I wanted, like, you know, so you have time to, like, open the line and then sync it and then, like, press play now. But obviously, can't quite do that. It's a little cute story about the journey of a circle. And the music, and here's like kind of like the sad beginning part. Yeah. Is this the your pointless joke? Why are you pointless? <laughs> The kind of idea of this world is like, even though it's all a 2D plane, you can like travel between portals as they're like in a higher dimension. So he's 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 like switching planes right now. Oh, classic! Yeah, yeah. I'm fully engrossed in this story. <laughs> the pacing's great. So we're we're on the Mobius strip. Which is interesting because if you go around it, then then you appear oh. upside down. <laughs> That's funny. So now he takes the circle portal, and He finds his, his friend, the purple circle, <laughs> and they're they're on a sphere actually. 
Do you want to be French? Oh, friends. Sorry. That was a really sweet story. Yeah, Yeah, nice, short, and sweet. (laughs) So, yeah, that is is the animation. Um, And very cool. Yeah. Very it's... unfortunate that the audio chase does not work at the same time. But... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you so should totally make a video where you combine them or something. Just so we can see what it would look like. You could also have two graphs open at once. Oh, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, but the computer fans would go like really fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I probably could. If I to have like, could I? Title. All right, just to also show that the uh, dynamic viewing does work. It, it always maintains the proper aspect ratio. Double slide demonstration. Uh, yeah, I guess I could could like have both of them running. Um, I don't know if you guys want to listen. And and see the whole thing again. <laughs> um, and sure, why not? I guess it's only two minutes. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anyone has any other other questions. Oh, well, the speed is way too quick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it, it may not be perfectly in sync. Circle zooming along. Yeah, I think also because I couldn't like, I also ran out of time, and like the the music is slightly behind the the animation. It's it's a bit too short. Oh, but we don't talk about it. <laughs> uh, what method did you use to? Um, to animate, like, did you just have one variable that everything was based off of, like a time variable? Uh, yeah, so... My... Yeah, I guess, let me stop that. Um, yeah, so I have this... So this ticker is running a time, like a time action thing here, uh, which is because uh, this was meant to be synced up with Audio Trace, like, having it in time is very important so i use the dt and it just runs uh this thing up which i convert it to seconds uh here and then like uh pass on music stuff so, yeah so like i have this animation library so these are like the core animation functions um so i have these three functions so this takes uh what this does is it calculates so like these have keyframes so you tell it like, okay, I want this hill to appear on frame 15. And so it will, this, what this function does is it, cal- uh, how does this work? Um, okay, so X is like your keyframe list, and then it will calculate um, like what step are we in. So at, at T, when the animation is at 15 seconds, it'll be one. And then when it's at 16 seconds, it'll be two. And then when it's at 40 seconds, it'll become three. So that way we can just like uh, reference it easily. And then animation percent here, uh, yeah, it just takes like the first entry and then the next entry and then uh, figures out like what percentage are we between the keyframes. And then this thing uh, does the actual like uh, linear interpolation where it just like multiplies this. Uh, to you know, find the uh, what what the proper value is, so it, so it can properly interpolate it, and so that makes it pretty easy to animate. Because all you gotta do is like create these tables of keyframes, um, and then just put the keyframe thing and then the the whatever thing you want to animate there into its function, and then they'll just automatically move it for you. Um, so that yeah. That's that's how that that's done. It's pretty it's pretty handy. Yeah, it seems like a pretty robust system. Yeah. Cool. And so I had a I had a spreadsheet of like keyframes, um, and that's how I animated it. Um, I had like a 
spreadsheet of like key moments and then just like go through it and then just animate the entire thing. And so, yeah, that's, and that's all the text here. Um, yeah, I don't know, but uh, there's the, oh, there's this, this, there's a stupid menu widget, which I'm extremely proud of. Let me turn all of this off. Um, and probably that, uh, I guess we can leave that on. Uh, where is the little, yeah, this menu widget I spent so long on and then never used it. <laughs> um, plus it's even cool because it runs with a regression hack. Um, the, the, the thing was, this is supposed to be your key selector. It also got messed up a little bit. But then I, I, I just discovered that dealing with musical notation is absolute pain. Like, it's, it's, it's so bad. Like, why, 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 why is Western music notation system like this? It's, anyway, um, yeah, I was, I was Cause very it was weird. made by really, really old people. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Alrighty, this was so cool. Uh, I I think just upload this, combine all the stuff together, the visuals, the story, this music, and make make it watchable. That'd be that'd go a long way. As usual, Vanny is the audio trace goat. Yeah, <laughs> pretty, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you. It's a it's a it's an interesting piece, and the oh my god, the viewport. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw the the form post but it was at one point this this viewport thing was like not working and i was i emailed desmos was like guys you gotta fix this or else you're breaking literally every single audio trace crack out there yeah I saw wow. that. <laughs> all right i'm going to all right it's the the wheel. wheel it's gonna be blue 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 it's Dude, gonna be blue that's... obviously DM me if you don't want it. You forgot the N after the W. Who's Ron War? <laughs> Ron did War. not pronounce the oh, N after the W. Oh. oh. Okay. Let me see if my stream works now. Oh, yeah. We already we all had landed on you before. Yeah. Let's see. Does it work? Uh, no. Or is it loading? floating? Ah, God damn it! Let me do that again. No, bro. Why is it loading? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's loading. Hey, try sharing something else, That's... like your full screen, it, like your desktop. I don't know if you can yeah, do that this, on browser this Discord. This is my whole screen. Wait, let's see. It's not. It's Hold not. I can run it. Uh, it's loading. It's loading still, yeah. I could share it if you yep. want. Okay, uh, since your computer runs faster. Yeah, I'll use my, uh, send... my chunk and, chunk and Mac. Oh, I almost sent my, I almost sent the wrong one. I almost sent my test faster, even better version too. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. What am yeah. I sharing? See, um... It's in voice. Uh, let's see. Invoice. Let me go to there. Oh, yes. I remember this one. Okay, good. This one's autopilot. Uh, let me, uh, share oh. what I mean. Autopilot. Like, it, it just runs. Uh, like, uh... No, it's not autopilot anymore. Uh, you have to click the person. I think. Yeah. Person. Okay. Let's see. It's a stream. Uh, okay. Oops. All right. Oh wait, hold on. You have to click the click time first, like the play button wait. to the left of time. Ah, uh, oh, in the second. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, it runs so smoothly on your one. Yeah, these max ones are insane. All right, ready? Get click, and then. Oh.
better. Man, oh, yeah. that's not playing. <laughs> that's great. Oh, the whole, uh, yeah, I got the... The plane is so glitchy. Oh, that's Desmodo. Yep. Uh, oh, what? Bowie. Oh, 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 Sorry, oh, uh, you? Bowie. an extension yeah. near you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, so... I might be able to give a demo at the end of the VC. Mm, yep. Again. Sneak peek. Um, do you want me to explain it or something? Yeah, go for it. It's an information. Wait, open the information folder? Sure. Yep. I put in an explanation there. So, it's basically just an example of how 3D works. And um, I was doing some optimization as well. So, there's a few optimizations. Um, like, you know how the uh, virus spikes retract and, like, out go out right so basically when 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 it's not visible and it's inside the earth i just try to remove it from the mesh because there's like a lot of vertices and i implemented substitutions as well um so if you go into yeah um if you go into um data handling i think that's the folder uh, data handling? Data. It's yes. at the bottom. Yep. Data handling. Um, so I implemented substitutions as well. Um, like, when the plane rotates, I just... That, the Rx, it's actually a function, but it ran really slowly with the function, so I used substitutions. And in the bottom with the, um, vertices, you see how the length of the list changes as the animation goes along that's because i'm doing some filtering interesting so now it's at zero yeah now it's so big it's one that, uh, not not the plane the cxv thing the cxv yep. yeah, yeah yeah 948 three five oh so it's, a, it's a laggy bit yeah that's why it's laggy there's a lot of vertices and faces and boom it's gone. And so do you find there's an actual difference, like swapping out swapping out the actual buffers that actually helps? Like I mean, clearly uh, that... Yeah, there's definitely a difference. On my computer, like and in the beginning, this plane sphere, it runs at about one seventy, one eighty MS. With the vaccines, it runs about three hundred and forty. Wow. Yeah. That's solid. I remember I someone was like suggesting that the syringes should like drain as it goes, which would be a cool feature. Yeah, uh, I know. I was planning to do that too, but like slow. I didn't have time. It's gonna run so slow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have a video. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Yeah, oh, cool. I compiled it with Desmodder. The the back the the Z sorting is so bad. Like right. the, like some visual artifacts that you can see. Oh, did it just pause? Oh, it's good. Rose for a second. And the plane looks sort of weird. Huh. It's still insane to me that you guys yeah. can this stuff run like so well anyway. <laughs> Very cool. I'm gonna improve my 3D renderer next year. And this one's not good. No, it's good. Awesome, awesome. Anything else? Uh, no, thanks. Beauty. Great graph. You stop screaming. Who it's gonna be blue. Left? On the wheel. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, going to... It's gonna be blue. Wheel. I can tell. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Oh, yeah, it's me. Sorry. Okay. It is blue. Yeah, it's, it's blue. blue. Hold it's on. Like clearly I, blue. I should it's be faster with this now. Yeah. 
はい<笑> There you go, Blue. Nice. Uh, there you go. Wow, very impressive blank graph. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> very impressive square. Oh, really? <laughs> so okay, here's my actual graph. Uh, oh. I made a sunset. So, um, this was originally just kind of like a normal 3D grapher. So it's just like a 3D graph. It has a uh, explicit equation where Z is up. Because that's how it works in math. Wrong, I love wrong, wrong, yeah. Yeah. wrong, Ooh. wrong, wrong. Boo. So yeah, it, it grabs stuff. I don't know what it's doing with this blue line here. Ignore that. That, that, uh, that so, um, mm -hmm. That little menu sliding animation in your graph is sick. Yeah, so I made most of the settings menu on like the last day, but I had the animations kind of figured out before then. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing that the ticker up here is used for. But because I use the ticker, I now have to use the ticker for the slider for the waves too, which was a little bit disappointing, but probably for the best anyway. But um, yeah, there's a little bit of, I would have liked to work on the little menu more because for example, uh, here, I'll... there's like this lighting menu. Ooh. I have a little color picker in here. Uh, yeah, so I quite like it. You can like click the, click the colors. You can click any side of the color wheel. Um, the one problem is that I implemented this at like the very last second. So I didn't put the shininess for the um, the specular reflections on here, and I also didn't put the light position on here, which I would have liked. But um, yeah, so there's a couple of bugs with the settings menu. For example, if I keep the lighting menu open and I close the settings menu, uh, <laughs> the color figure stays. <laughs> but besides that, um, the graph itself I think works well. Let me reset it. There we go. So the rendering itself is, um, let's see, it's pretty average 3D transformation matrix. So it transforms it to screen space. It has the X, Y, and then the Z depth for the polygon sorting. Um, and then the lighting is, again, Blin Fong model for reflections. So it is not physically based or anything like that. But um, it works and it looks nice. So I have the ambient dif uh, diffuse and specular lighting. The normal vectors, I can define them in terms of the parcel derivatives instead Wait, of. Wait, why the... did you use D out of DX instead of just the uh, tick? I think I. Like on um, the at one point, I think I tried using like the um, cross product of the edges or something like that. But it actually ended up being oh, wait, slower. Oh, respect to. Oh. Yeah, so oh, right. since I just have it in, in terms of one graph, I can just use the parcel derivatives, and it makes it, I think, easier and probably, I don't know if it's actually faster or not, but it's more convenient at the very least. So yeah, the lighting is, uh, I have the diffuse is the normalized dot product for normal vector and the vector to the light. And then specular is um calculates the halfway vector and then does that dot to normal um what else i don't think i have too much else to talk about it this is awesome i didn't know there was a color Wire picker hmm? i did yeah the color picker is great that's above and beyond i thought like i thought like I thought you just like I thought you just like catered the colors to look amazing, but you applied <laughs> the whole like. Picker I mean, I, well. I actually I actually oh, did wow. this. I adjusted the colors without the color picker, and then I made the color picker because I thought the color picker that was, was like amazing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah, no, at first it, at first I just manually did the RGB values. You fit them wait, how far does it run? Wait, can you open performance view? Wow. Oh, wow. That's solid. That's quick. That's some, that's some good if stuff. If I turn up the polygon count, um, it gets quite a bit slower. <laughs> but it looks nice. 
It actually looks really good. While you were showing off your color picture, I like the low poly. While you were showing off your color picker, the text chat turned into a war zone about the CF YF controversy. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not a controversy. There's only one answer. It's YF. Yeah, Z is up. It's YF. Yeah, Z is up. <laughs> uh, it's okay, C no. so in C my defense, I do think Y up is nice for games and like 3D modeling, but if it's just math where I'm just plotting an implicit or explicit function, I feel like saying, oh, yes, Y is a function of X and Z feels weird. Like, it's, well, it feels like the... You gotta fully radicalize which side like are you on. Wow. <laughs> nah, nah, you, uh, I'm no, Z is, Z is up. Uh, no, I mean, it's uh, A, A and then C is up. up. C is up. Spoiler oh, angles. Why? That's all you need to know. Because the gimbals are applied in XYZ order. And it only why makes sense for yaw to be applied last. And if Z is... Y is the 25th letter. And it's a square number. Therefore, it is correct. Wow. Don't start again. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, I don't think I have much more to. I'll go ahead and stop the stream if you guys are. I think you know what? I, I'll, I'll give my two my two cents. When you have a feature like of like the color picker, make it. I think you should make it like painfully obvious that it's a thing because like there's <laughs> other pieces, like like i can imagine the judges are churning through graphs like tons of them and like if you have a feature just spell it out point to it as much as possible so they don't fair miss enough it. but the color picker is also like not that Should we like make a like yeah, the graph <laughs> like, there's like a whole thing that uh, yeah Hi, is there like a tip with you for like um you're my favorite skip this version Alrighty, back to Das Wheel. Spin the wheel. Das Wheel! It's gonna be blue. Spin the wheel. It's gonna be blue. The wheel. Spin the wheel. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be red. Hey. Oh my god, it's blue! Oh. No way! Oh my god, this fell today. We can't go. Run, it's blue. Run. Let's go. I, always, I thought it was Ron Moore for the longest time. Ron Moore, did you, did you update yours with the Bernard game? Oh no, do you have your microphone working? Nope. Uh, no. okay. Um, right. so you, uh, I'll, uh, so I could share the graph on his behalf. Um, yeah, uh, I just saw this. This is kind of insane. Let's, uh, let's open it up. Uh. Where are we? Yes. There's a W there. All right. So since he doesn't have a microphone, um, he can. Uh, so uh, he'll dictate in the chat, and no, so he'll transcribe, and someone else will dictate. Uh, that'd probably be helpful. Uh, all right. Let me share my screen. Uh, where are we? I I think that there's a there's a letter missing in the. the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One letter. Yeah, the letter missing is Y. That is so true. <laughs> what? All right. After all, there's no Z in one word. Okay, tell me, do you see the graph? Wait, yes. go, to, go to the other features before you start the the main <laughs> part, just so everyone. Go go to the go to the uh, oh. Uh, that graph is awesome. Pictures man. and Bernard. Okay. Bernard. Classic. <laughs> oh yeah, look. The thing yeah. I really like about Longworth one is like the image gallery. Um like the image gallery, there's like pictures of um like he's on the subway or something. Uh and then he makes a graph for it. It's really funny. Wait, click on the image gallery, yeah. This one. Yep. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, these are his stuff. Spotify. Wait, yeah, how Spotify. did how does that oh, one work? Great. Wait. Oh what? yeah, look at this one. This is not one equation though. Yeah. Uh, Product moment. Oh. Whoa. That's nuts. Yeah, this is one equation. It is. Yeah. yeah sorry, but the colors are different. Like, sorry. That that's what it's like. Uh, there's a color gradient going on. Whoa. Yeah, that's actually a one cool. equation art contest. Yes, definitely. But does more. Well, just gonna win. There's no. There's no chance. Oh yeah, look I at would that. I get this second. One. Yeah, he's like putting up photos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a pattern on the subway. 
like that. Yeah. I was like, I like these. Wow. I OMG. Pie. Pie. Like how to buy oh, yeah, so it's not five a pie product in Windows. 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 Beautiful. Oh, that, that's it. All right. Main event. Oh, man. Uh, I, 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 actually, I actually think you should brace yourselves for this. Click on that. Yeah. Whoa. Really yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, wow. Where to go from watching? Ready, three, two, one. Oh, level beginner. Oh wow. This is so cool. Oh. AKA Von Moore. <laughs> Henry. Casually calling himself an overlord. <laughs> Brain. <laughs> Mental blot. Mental blot. I've oh, one like graph. I'm amazed this is all running in real time so well. This is yeah, running in post. So performant. Yeah. yeah like, there were animations yeah. like this last year when it just put a YouTube. Yeah, that, that one. A little bit like, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Black, that yeah. link. It's it doesn't here. really run in real time, but this one does. This is real oh, time. Oh my god. The rendering time is so low. <laughs> yeah. Henry, Henry was not the impersonator. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, classic Bernard. And that's it. That is, that so is cool. cool. It's actually amazing. It's so clean. So cool. Thought that was awesome. Um, like yeah, this, like yeah. So, John John does stuff. Made a graph last year, the one that got a million views. It did something like this, but but it that did was not, not run anywhere near it. Really. Anywhere near this whole other world. This is like effectively yeah, what because, John like, did last year, but it runs. It's. It's nuts. <laughs> so cool. So, um, okay, there are different folders. So, oh, wow. Screen. These are different screens. So, I guess, I, I yeah, guess. I, I think he said he made like, different graphs for, um, oh, that's smart. Yeah, he made he different graphs and then he put the them all in one graph. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like, uh, yeah. I was trying to figure out how to turn an expression into an error, but I couldn't yeah, find a I, nice way to do it consistently. What's the tactic oh, that's normally used? Index out of bounds is Yeah, popular. actually, what's the best way uh, to induce an error? Index out of bounds is oh, quite Oh my popular. god. Yeah. Um, Multiply if you have, everything like, by a list with one element of one. And then just yeah, like, I just can't. Right? You, you literally never do, like, one graph. You do, like, 50 <laughs> graphs in one graph. It's incredible. Yeah. Index out of bounds Whoa. would make it undefined, right? So index out of bounds, no. So it, it's it's different actually. Index there, out of bounds is not undefined. It is compilation error. It's so it actually um, like just, while, while, while it plays, I'll do this. So if you have something like like this from uh, A to okay. Okay, wait, Dude, check, sorry, index out, check, of, sorry, index out of bounds is, um, index out of bounds is undefined. Wait, check, um, but nonlinear yeah, sequence check, is... Uh, check the voice chat. Go to the subsliders folder. Oh, yeah, what, what's going on in the chat? Uh, wait, it's, it's, subsliders folder. What do you mean it's so undefined? It's like is it not... Index out of bounds is undefined. Um, invalid arithmetic sequence is compilation error. Ah, okay. What type of undefined is index out of bounds? Is it its own index type? Of, Index out of bounds is um, is uh, oh my gosh, what is it called? Uh, it's it's yeah, not man okay. undefined. It is um, it's not. It's wait. not a number. Index out of bounds um, is is nan undefined. I think it's just nan, yeah. Here, let me. I I, I know how to test. Um, so, one no, this, to the oh, yeah, power this, of one yeah. two. Well, that case, no, because in my yeah. I don't think Desmos does one to the power of nan. Yeah, this way is way's great, but um. This was great, but I was trying to implement it in my 3D renderer, but it ran at around 160 ms. So, uh, what I, I allege, if you're looking at the screen still, this this is a real kill variable. This, this if you just add it like this and append it to the end of a, lit, of a list or something, like, you will actually kill an equation by doing it. 
Um, because as soon as you do it, it yeah, it's fully ends. Mm. Um, yeah, but I very, think it's low. Very impressive. It's graph. low. Yes, very good graph. Also, Runwar, didn't you make this in like the last like two weeks of the art contest <laughs> yeah, or something yeah, absurd yeah. like that? How yeah, you... actually. Wait, how did you do the color blending <laughs> like this? Yeah. Um, like what this, is so, yeah. this is like you can't do this. You can't separate channels like in Desmo. So how did you uh, how how did you like do that part? That one's mind-boggling. Most of the work has been made in the last two days. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, because like Robin was like panicking. Like, yeah. was, like, <laughs> Dude, I, I remember being in VC with him. He was like all really up until like the very deadline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he literally submitted at like um eleven fifty nine my time, like a minute before it was like <laughs> that is that, crazy. I mean there's the grace period the obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but like we didn't know that then, so. Yeah, this is this is great. Probably uh probably my favorite so far actually. <laughs> um so by a long time. Let's stop streaming. All right. Who is next? So let me add a uh, cheese. It's gonna be blue. Gonna be blue. <laughs> uh, all right. Um I won't I will never correct that. All right. I'm just gonna sell cheese. Bend the wheel. Bend the wheel. It's gonna be blue. I feel blue. It's gonna be blue. Oh my god! It's gonna be blue. Cheese. Oh. 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 <laughs> Wait, that was so close. Oh, sorry. We had an M before. I might not have deleted somewhat. Just tell me if I. Hey, I get it going. Yeah. Happened. Ha <laughs> No, I'm joking. You, you, you I do, do have a suggestion already? though. Yeah. I do have a suggestion okay. though. I bet. I think we should do a 30-minute Desmos art contest. I think we should be in the VC, and you should say something, and then we all have to draw it. Wait. <laughs> that would be uh, awesome. 30, 30 minutes? That's impossible. You need more than 30 minutes. There's no way. Uh, no, 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 shorter, no, no, shorter, no, 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 shorter, no, no, shorter. Yeah, I'm going to be in 10 minutes. Wait. Yeah, 10 minutes. Should we like have a rule that we have to start from an empty graph? Because some people can just take graphs from yeah. other Someone, accounts. We should, uh, we should graphs, get yeah. like... We should get Heaven Era to like announce a, a just a word, and then we. Oh yeah, yeah it all exactly. to be other word. One word oh, yeah. from no one. Look at the, this. This is actually. Yeah. This is something I did in ten minutes when I like did that same thing with some other people. Oh, that would be so funny if we all sheep. played putt party like after this. Sheep. Sheep. High speed graphing that'd be fun. But, like. Yeah. Oh, this but, G looks like a logo. But like, if you do that, you should combine them. They have to like. Like, is there a way you could combine them all into one graph, or would that get chaotic? Alright, like, your guys' graphs are awesome, but I gotta go. See you guys. Bye. Alright, see ya. Goodbye. Awesome. Alright, anyways, yeah, he's presenting. Uh, I'll set up. Ooh. Yeah, I've, ac I've actually already gone, so you can just go to the next yeah. person. Yeah, where's the pen? Was Sorry, man. It's gonna be blue. Recurring. It's gonna be blue. It's gonna be blue. I can I can really feel it this time. You feel it in your bones. It is bones. She, oh, I yeah, knew yeah. it. Max Lou, there are like ten people all currently working on that exact idea. Um what idea? Uh live multiplayer Desmos. Oh <laughs> yeah. I want that. Yeah. So bad. Ego confirmed. <laughs> There's okay. I have done some theorizing about it and some beta stuff. Ron Winor is working on it. Math Enthusiast had a beta version. Fireflame was working on a version. Someone was working on a version for the r slash place version. But, like, less yeah. live, I guess. I, Fireflame amends but that. I'm sure someone will... Oh, never mind. It's Fireflame. Not Fireflame. Oh. How, how would you do you multiplayer like... decimals? How would you handle, like... It, like conflicting people i talked to my friend jack about this He's um like, prefixed ids some special dispatch event filtering um potentially some other very strange stuff but uh it's it's definitely possible i'm it's one of the projects that i'll work on after performance info v2 that and will be very I think Ron well, that will be actually so good 
Speaking of performance in Vivi 2, I should get a working demo before the end of the VC. I, I need to do that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Oh. Alright, okay, let's see Marzipian's got. Ooh, Bernard. No, you, you are going to the next person, oh, right? Like, like I've already gone. Uh, wait. Cheese, are you sharing? Uh, I think Cheese needs someone to share for them. Uh, oh, Wait, isn't uh, it Marzipian first? Yeah, it's Marzipian. No, I've Marzipian already no, I've, I've already Marzipian. gone. Yeah, you should be going to the next person. It, your screen's oh. still sharing. Um, oh. All right, let's do procedural hell. Procedural hell. <laughs> it's basically procedural hell. Procedural uh, hell. Yeah, um, I want to see how fast this runs on uh, like Heaven Year's End. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you're unfamiliar, I I have I've been blessed with this M2 back. Um, it's very freaking fast. Real? I'm so sorry. Nitron bomb said oh, your call condolences. Imagine using Apple products. <laughs> All right, play it. Jeez. Oh my gosh, oh. that's that's well, that actually cool. Like, can you open up a uh, pie chart? A pie chart? Yeah. The, the, the performance the pie chart button. Oh, oh, I forgot oh, the, it doesn't have a, oh, an actual pie chart. Florence, sorry. Oh, wow. That is oh, that's actually pretty quick. That's For, very bad. What, what's I it on your computer? Trigonometric distortion and procedural noise and Jeez, fire. Was, like, and most out of the distortion. Trick distortion is Look expensive. at the background. It looks like the American flag. Wow. Oh, wait, it's 15 lines. Yeah. 15 lines. Oh, yeah. He, he, she, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, optimized okay. it a lot. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me send you a script. Hold on. I I made a script for like um, uh, checking the length of latex and like stats and everything. <laughs> this is oh wow. Quite the quite the quick. graph. This is nuts. Where where's where are all the totals? Where are the totals? Uh, the house. Yeah, so, um, am I, am I waiting for something? <laughs> it's, this is, it's just hell. It's procedural hell. What, what's there to say? Wait, hold on. What's this do? This makes it laggier. Wait, pause it. Oh, it's, huh. It's, uh, I think quality for building side effects trick distortion. Right. The trick distortion in the background, I'm really curious how it's that fast. Because trick distortion, I remember like in Desmos Bar, that was one of the slowest parts. In which part? The, uh, oh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, trick distortion, cosine's an expensive function. There's like nothing yeah. around there. That's why the, uh, that's probably Wait, why have the, a do that. Yeah. Have a new, can you go to voice chat and copy that script into the console? Sure. Send uh, all my going files. going to download a virus on here. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, you, if you ask someone like who doesn't know just Desmos to do that, it's so script. sketchy. Like, you can't trust a file named Just Deez run this unverified code for me. Here you go. Named Deeznuts. Folders, folders is not defined. Is not defined. Wait, Where is your folder? Oh, error. Permission denied to access okay. Chrome <laughs> login data. Yeah, please. <laughs> Oh wait! I, Delete I system thirty two in order to run this script. You just, you just run this while true. <laughs> Shut, hold on, wait. Let wait, me you're just... a you're a you're a Mac user. You don't have system thirty two. That's why it's not running. Oh, oh you just... really? No, you You've no. Been you're not using it from the system thirty two delete script. Oh yeah. Okay, so please install Windows wait, first, and yeah, then please install script. Windows so you can get your computer bricked. I... <laughs> I just like, I the the guy on the wheel the 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 wheel accounts mm -hmm. using Windows Ten, but that's that's because the Max can't stream audio. It was it was very nice voice chatting with you guys, looking at graphs. However, I do have to go and do the uh, right. unfortunate pleasure. Bye. Good night, Takashi. Good stuff. Yeah, See pleasure. you guys. All right, I'm going to spin or the wheel probably because yeah. uh, the script yep. doesn't work. Bye bye. I apologize. Bye. They can't grab any passwords because there's no passwords to grab. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. 
I'm he signed it with his face. It's gonna be blue. Wait, let me. Gonna be blue. It might actually be blue. Wait, uh, have an error? Yeah, putting it well. What are the uh, odds? I sent a script blue. It's blue. It's how many okay. times has it been blue in a Running. row? Fifty. Yeah, it's been I've blue fifty counting, times honestly. in a row. Yeah. It's been blue. It's been blue, blue every time. Always. It's been blue every time. <laughs> it's just it's always blue. blue. It's nuts. Okay, I turn push Very talk blue. off. Let's do this. Okay, go to stream. The correct window. Uh, yeah, smoother video. Okay. So here's Desmos chess. I wait, I want to play this. I don't know how to play chess. I don't know how to play chess. Well, you don't have to this know how to play so chess because it shows you how to play chess. Hell yeah. Yes. The only downside is that the performance view so uh, blocks the reset button. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, where where should I go oh. first? Do you think? Do you How about like, what the... if it's me versus everyone else? Like I make a move as white, and then everyone else decides and move for black. Do you oh want to add an hour to this call? Wait, right. <laughs> 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 like, so have you even implemented like the uh, the, okay, like, the, the king and rook swap thing? Yeah, Castling is in there. Castling's yeah. in, is in there. there. And Passant is in there. What's it called? A uh, promoting. Promoting's in there, yeah. The, the, okay, people, yeah, the, pick the, a move. And rook swap thing. What piece do you want to move? Uh, rook from... Uh, F, oh, rooks can't I move in this move position. The, yeah, move the rook. Rooks can't move in this but, position. Right, They're on the, uh, can you move the knight? I can move one of the knights. Which the one? Knight. Uh, This one? Uh, this one, one right, right. Here. I don't know. I don't know how to play okay. chess. Okay, the, the okay. queen's knight. The one on knight. the right, so we can see capture. I, 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 oh, I say, um, wait, is it like the numbers are like left to right? If I wait, move the one on the left so we can see a capture, yeah. Okay, move right the here. one on the left, yeah. And suppose I want to protect that pawn. Doesn't matter. We we can we can take a, a knight for pawn trade any day. <laughs> 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 yeah. Get smushed. Squashed. Oh, the turning. There seems to be a the bug turning with between turn. Uh, the turning between. Yeah, it's so good. So hmm. Then you gotta kind of one of the fastest running like open up the, the side. Open line. up the the position. Make it a. Yeah. Although take, in this case, of the center a bit. pawn is killing everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Although in this position, normally the queen would take the pawn, but because I've been, of the I've shenanigans which happened earlier. Here. Oh yeah, I can demonstrate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, does it even like do like an automatic like uh, check declaring? Yes, it does. Holy hell! Do you oh, have, on the side, do you have it just castling? Descends into the floor. I do have huh? castling. Oh good. Or oh, do you have on facade? I just showed and just and just 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 it. Was so cool. <laughs> Let me just bring the like, pawn to the very, very. I like end. how in the Anfasan animation, the it doesn't squish the enemy. The the, the enemy just slowly recedes into the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I'm in check. Well, I, now, while you're in check, whenever. the other pieces can't do anything. This one can. Token. So this one. This one can go in two places. This one can go there. King could move out of the way. Hmm. The I think this is the best defense for this position. How do you how do you like check for all these like combinations? Uh, oh, I can also, yeah, pull I that up and down here. Oh yeah, here's castling. See, wow. I feel like when you make a game like this, everyone's just gonna stress test. Can it castle? Can it on facade? It's like the first okay. thing in the checklist. Peace promotion. <laughs> In everyone your submission was peace promotion. Yeah, everyone uh, was just like saying, "Can default? you implement on Uh, wait, I need to close that for a second. Okay, so pawn promotion. Now you see, oh. you can only promote to one if you've already lost some of those because there's a finite set of pieces to do. But there are two extra queens. That oh. way, you know, you can promote to a queen. But oh, if you, oh, I like that animation. I like that animation. Yeah, it was really it's really fast. Really cool. Yeah, and uh, down here is, uh, let's see, the uh, game state variables in here. 
No, not Game State variables. Uh, where is it? Game State controller. Wasn't there a so, special piece promotion UI like that would pop up, or am I thinking of a different? It was graph? just a text on the side, and so I'm here's the, graph. Never the mind. tick thing, and it just has all the different uh, things in there, and has a state variable which shows what it's doing. State one is you pick a piece to move somewhere, and three is when it's animating, and it processes the board, and then does all that. And, and you know, there's there's a whole bunch of logic right here like say come compute legal moves it checks if the currently selected piece if it's a pawn it does pawn moves if it's two it means rook it does rook moves and so on it does it for all of them and then in each of those oh, man. say say knight moves this one's pretty pretty straightforward so it uh it takes this thing check move which basically is like the general purpose um does this endanger the king sort of deal um so it multiplies that oh, against nice. this thing here. Uh, basically checks the game state at the position, at each of the different positions uh, that it can go at. Because the NP is the is the list of the knight movements. And wow. so with M oh. is that, it assigns a list of positions and converts them into board coordinates. Puts that in W1. Then it checks, what's that W1? And it multiplies it by the turn. You know, that way, if it's black, it refers to white. If it's white, it refers to black, and so on. And so, if it is less than or equal That's to zero, genius. which means if the space is either empty or an enemy, then it says, okay, I can go there. Unless, of course, it's uh, it endangers the king. And then it removes duplicate entries, because there's a lot of zeros. And then it sets the possible moves array to that. And it has one of these things for every single one of them. Uh, the queen is kind of bulky. Look at how big this thing is. That makes sense. Yeah, because <laughs> it has to do like two. Dis uh, how many different ray casts does it have to do? A quite a few. It, like, yeah. The king moves are surprisingly simple. Then there's uh, it's actually really cool. Thank you. Then there's uh, click piece select, and then it uh, oh yeah, it displays the legal moves. It does the same stuff up here. Compute legal moves. Uh. Oh yeah, it does all that, and I already got to that. Okay, analyze game state. This is where it gets interesting. So, update game state. That's like it beginning the process. Check king control. That basically checks the squares around the king to see, okay, who has control of each of the squares. And uh, it compiles them into a list. And checking to see who has control of those squares involved it, like, searching outwards to see... Uh, it basically had to do the reverse of each of the piece movements, essentially, and get the pin maps. This was this was an interesting one, because uh, in addition to checking if any of the squares are controlled, it will also check from the king uh, along the straight line directions, uh, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal, if there is first uh, a piece which cannot move in that direction, and then a piece behind it which can move in that direction. And it considers the piece there in between pinned. And so if you're trying to move it, it's not allowed to move off of the pin. And so that prevents you from exposing your king. Like, for instance, in this case, this bishop is pinned. It cannot move this way, but it can move along the pin and capture the bishop. Actually, that's not even a bad move. And then, uh, then it has to take that pin map and then kind of merge it into like a full array because see the pin map it starts with like a list of coordinates and the assign the pin map it basically pushes that list of coordinates onto an entire 64 long list so that encodes the entire board then uh get threat map so when when the king is in check it will identify every piece which is threatening the king you know, pawns, rooks, and all that. And and so, uh, basically saying, uh, any of your pieces can go on one of the threat squares. So it it occupies the threat square itself, where the enemy is. But also, if, like, say if it's a rook or a queen, every square up to that, so that you can block as well. If there are multiple threats simultaneously, uh, that doesn't work, because one piece can't block two threats at once. And then it pushes it to the list as usual. Mm -hmm. And count legal moves. 
this is how checkmate detection happens. It basically goes through all these things where it counts the individual piece types and just adds them all together and Wait. sees, okay, why do you have possible of this comprehension? How do you mean? Uh, for the sum that I see, uh, this, uh, scroll up. Uh, not that right one. Uh, yeah, this one, yeah. Isn't that like a list comprehension? Sort of. Uh, this is what's oh, summing wait, no, together. Nine, Sixteen. Never mind. Yeah, it's it's summing together. Oh, turn is a number. Oh. Yeah, turn turn is a number, okay. either one or oh. negative one, and that basically tells it uh oh, okay. what index to start at. This is iterating through all the pawns, since you oh, know no use having right. the same okay. count pawn expression eight times, and I can just add them all okay. together. Then it counts the rooks for optimization for both of them, and then it counts both knights and so on. It just counts all of them. And uh, also, can you go to voice chat? Um, wait, let me just send a random message. Uh, you see, I replied to a message that I sent. Can you run that script? I want to see the stats of your graph. Uh, I, I kind of don't want to run arbitrary code on my computer. It's fine. Yeah, oh, okay. the link is public. You can run it on your own computer. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait. Where's the link? Uh, Graphs? it's on my. Uh, I it's on the starboard. I know. Oh that. wait, it's on your screen. It's on your screen. Yeah, I can just copy paste starboard. it into there. Here, there's the link. All right. This 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 feels incredibly well polished. Like really hats Thank off you. to you. And pawn promotion menu, and then oh, dummy statements. This is funny. So, uh, a lot of times with these actions, they don't do anything. Like, say, when the clicker is disabled, uh, I have to have a pass statement at the end so that it still counts as an action so it doesn't break the ticker. And then what it does is it literally just sets a dummy variable to zero and it just keeps doing that just as a don't do anything because <laughs> I don't think Desmos has a do nothing action. <laughs> Oh, that's smart. Oh, you had to make eight of them because of conflicts, right? Yeah, because of conflicts. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, check in game in. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah, this is just data. There's more. Oh, yeah. Here's how it counts how many legal moves you have. Uh, it does not count castling because uh, if you can castle, you can necessarily move the king. So there's no need to do that. And uh, you can't even castle if you're in check, so. Let's see, uh, then there's the you know, game state variables. Yeah, turn alternates between one and negative one. And these two are kind of chunky, you know, Lo lots of data. Takes like 10 seconds, or it takes like four seconds to load it up. You know, there's a whole bunch of just stuff in here. And yeah. Okay. And then uh, let's see, in this position, hmm, probably, uh, I'm just going to trade queens off. Stop white from castling. And then... Who is white? It. I'm playing as white. I'm also playing oh. as black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then... Put, a, put white in check again. And, you know, white can either move out of the way, can't move in the direction of the threat, or move the... You know, the knight in the way. Oh, yeah. This is what the... Um, what is it called? Um, okay, so king control. This shows like what squares around the king are being controlled by the enemy. Oh yeah, check move. This is the one. It basically checks if the uh, if like uh, if the start and end destinations, like where the piece is and where the piece is going, because it checks this against every possible move. Uh, if you're either on the pin. Or it's not on a pin at all. Or if it's 0 0.5 represents a very special case with uh, en passant. Uh, I can show that in a bit. If all that passes and and then, you know, the threat check as well, you know, make sure that, you know, the piece is, you know, on one of these threat squares here. In fact, where is the threat array? Right here, the threat array. 64 long gray. Each one of these is a different score on the board. The ones represent these spaces here, these seven spaces going down. Any one of these squares, my pieces can go on, but none of the others. 
So then in this case, I can block it like this. That's the bishop moving on there. Now, when it comes to the very specific behavior with the end passant thing, let me just kind of shuffle the pieces around and make my king make his way to uh, to the, what is it, the fifth rank? Oh, there's a bishop in the way. I'll need to get, get the bishop out of there. It's a very, very particular situation. Let's see, if I have my king there, I need to get this pawn forward. And I'll have my rook forward as well. And I'll move like that. Just kind of shuffle it around a little bit. Have my rook right here. And then maneuver my king around the pawn. It's funny because when I made uh, chess on Minecraft, this is like the one bug that uh, that made it through on the Java version. Since uh, I became aware that this was a problem uh, because of a video about chess AI, I think it was one by Sebastian League, one of those guys. Okay, and then I oh, you watched Sebastian? Yeah. He's okay. really. I like that YouTube channel. My, yeah, my rook somewhere. Okay, and now I can get my pawn into the field. I'm not going to end passant that pawn because that would defeat the purpose. I'll just uh, move my knight. Oh, my knight can't move because it's pinned to the king. I'll move the king then. Okay. It's really slow to set up this very specific scenario. And move my king again. And then white goes here. Okay, and this is where it happens. So this pawn does a double jump. And that opens up en passant. But en passant is not allowed in this position. Because it would remove this pawn and this pawn, exposing the king. Huh? That is a very specific edge case. <laughs> I don't think it's ever happened in a normal game of chess, but in order to make it a proper engine, I made it consider that. Wow. Like if, if this rook wasn't here, then end passant could be done here, but it can't. Right, just, just want to rotate in two minutes, because there are three more people. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to... Capture that there, and, and then I'll call it. Okay. Well, that concludes Desmos Chess. Very so, impressively performant graph, and oh. Thank no, you, yeah, it's, it's gonna be blue. blue. Unexpectedly it... complicated logic. Oh, I no, I broke the streak. It's not blue. No. <laughs> <sighs> All good things have to come to an end eventually, I guess. <laughs> orange cube. All right. So, for my graph, I have the orange. Oh my god! You submitted. <laughs> no, I didn't actually submit the orange cube. Although that would have been pretty funny. Not gonna lie. Oh um, my god! So this is my graph. Uh, it's like. I, I had the idea for this originally, like I just visualized it, and then like the, the final, the final like product of it, it hasn't really didn't really change much from my vision at all. I think I originally envisioned like having something like a poster on the wall, but I didn't end up doing that. Um, it's you know the, the idea is you're in like a spaceship and you're looking out the window and you're orbiting the Earth. Um, I have the Earth just as so freaking true. I have the Earth um, just as it's just like the default icosphere from Blender, uh, and then the way I'm getting the coloring of it is I actually made a cool little visualization. Uh, I'm taking the unwrapped mesh data, which I think I'm algorithmically unwrapping this just by the angle, um, and then sorting it, and then I'm taking the Perlin noise here, uh, which I have here, and then I am mapping the 
vertices of the icosphere onto the texture that I generate, and that is what creates the Earth. And what is cool is if I hit the random button on the graph, it creates a different pattern each time. So it's kind of randomized, which I think is pretty cool. Is that like a YouTube? Could we see the performance? It's That's very... Oh, cool. yes. It is quite fast. I tried to... I and wanted to get... Uh-huh. What if you remove the the coffee? Oh, don't even. If you remove the implicit, <laughs> you remove it, the coffee. If you remove, yeah, if you remove the mug and tea folder, it like goes to <laughs> this. Oh my the bar. god! Yeah, it's what? awful. It makes me mad. Speed. Um, I'm doing for Wait, the 3D. So the coffee is taking up like. Two yeah, because it's because it's an implicit. Yeah, the coffee is like two thirds of the. Oh, <laughs> but the um. <laughs> this is just why implicits are so bad. The actual like the three D I have incredibly performant, um, and what because the way I was able to get this so performant is this mesh is a unit sphere and on a unit sphere, um, the vertices are their own normals, which I think is kind of weird, but it just allows me to make you know light just incredibly cheaply and then also since uh i'm the vertex normals aren't the most accurate i also i am using the adaspa method for backface culling uh and it works pretty well i have the sun and the moon and the earth is lit based on the position of the sun so if i change that changes the lighting i don't know all this stars those are also randomly generated. There is the window. And I tried to make everything um, like have variables. So if I can change like the star's density, I can change like there's the, the moon. I can change the amount of craters on it. I can change all the colors. So I can make the earth. Um, let's make it this color. Nope, that didn't change anything. There we go. Now it's orange. Uh, the bias of the orange sphere. Perlin. So true. Um, eyes the tilt. And the yeah. Uh, the window you can you can are move the it around. stars random as well? Yeah, they are. They're they're positioned randomly. Let me refresh the graph. Moving a window yeah, on a wall is so different. <laughs> yeah, an image of that. <laughs> that would be awesome. And then table here. I think my favorite thing is if you disable the bottom. Oop, that's not the bottom. The bottom is Y. Is the table just goes on? The table continues. Um, oh, that's a really long table. Infinite table. Yeah. I have. The viewer must be very tall. There are okay. There are so many variables for the mug, just because. I thought she no. That's the table. Never mind. There's the mug. Just because like I I needed a variable just for like every aspect of it, and there's like quite a few. Um, but you can really you can change like. Like that, that's the, oh, the liquid the distance, the size mode. of the metaballs. I um, like the idea that the person standing at the table is just very tall. Yeah. <laughs> you can change. Yeah, you like can twist the... I think Nike's like six foot <gasps> You can twist the metaballs. You, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Like, I, I, because I, I, um, I made these variables, I mean, also just, you know, because I thought it'd be cool if people could change it, but because I want, you know, I wanted to just define, like, the kind of base and be able to fine-tune it to get it exactly how I liked it. So, you know, you can, oh, like, <laughs> you can get crazy with it. Um, there's also the laptop, which I have the accurate keyboard on it. Um, oh, wow, change, I didn't even like, notice that. That's You can change the function on there. Uh -huh. It's oh wow! I didn't. It's know in that. degree mode, so you gotta, you know, uh, pi over one eighty or or one eighty one eighty over pi your sine means? waves. <laughs> you can do... And that is a slight tilt. So you're, are you having oh, yeah, to do a linear transformation on yeah, the whole thing? I have. Um. Okay. Here's here's the cool part. This this is not even in three D, but just because of the way I'm doing the linear transform. Also, it's it's not very um proportional but because of the way i'm doing <laughs> the linear transform you can kind of like it, it looks very 3d if you rotate it and you know, woo. yeah i noticed it stretches a little bit with the when the computer rotates yeah just because it, it's not actually 3d i have yeah. um where is it where is the oh, you're just yeah, sharing the, it, right the laptop screen Wait, the basis so vectors you can see these this, this is the um the kind of like if i change the rotation this is the basis vector so this is how i'm doing a linear transform uh, to get everything, you know, like on the screen. Same with the keyboard and all that. For the keyboard, I actually just have a bunch of lists of the relative key sizes, uh, and these all add up to 15, so I can just go like, boom, and then the spacebar is really big. Wait, is that being dynamically rendered? Yeah. 
Oh wow, that's very impressive for that. That's most. That's most. No way. I mean, it's all pre. It's all pre-calculated, so it's not really that bad. Um. No, but I'm saying like you're not baking the keyboard polygons or anything. No. Like no. Because the... it's since this doesn't change, it doesn't need to oh, recalculate these variables. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, I guess it doesn't recalculate them. That's yeah. Um, I don't think I have too much more to say. This is my graph. So I'm curious what, so I think the main seller for me is the, is the meta balls. So did you <laughs> want to, did you make, I'm curious what your idea was first. Did you want to make a meta ball graph? And you had to come up with like the zero G situation or did you? No, like... no. The meta ball, I, I, the meta balls were kind of in my original. Well, I had a like an idea before about like some like astronaut floating outside of a spaceship. I thought that'd be way too hard. But no, I I, I kind of envisioned like, oh, this is gonna be cool. You know, you're gonna be sitting in like a space station. I thought you're like, oh, what if you had like coffee or like tea floating, and it was like like a liquid with meta balls. So the meta balls they did kind of come after. Um, and I, I thought it was such a good idea. And then once I got it in. I was like, it's so unperformant, but I can't take it out just because it's like one of the best parts of the graph. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Mm. That was a good choice. Yes. But yeah, I just noticed that you have one meta ball actually like in the cup. Like, that's cool. Yeah, I, I had to do that because that way it would like kind of like connect and look like there was actually liquid in there and it's not just oh, like Oh, you manually out. added a vertex there. Oh, yeah, that's really I think cool. if I go to L points, where is it? M center, no. So M off to L point base, L point base, raw points of. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Well, it, it's somewhere there. <laughs> if I turn on, I, I can just turn on the, uh, I can turn on the list of L points and you'll be able to see it. Oh, oh, I'm apparently no, adding L. it after base? this. No, because the L point base is at no. the origin. I have, I think I also have, Um, do I have the, the visual for it? The way I'm generating the points is not really that. Where do I have that? Um, Not that. M points, M shade. Can you put the mug meta ball a bit deeper? Um, I think so. Let me see. I don't think I have a variable for that actually. I it just it takes the point here and the point here and it finds the midpoint. Okay, I I know I made a visualization for how maybe I oh there it is. Okay. Let me make this a more visual color visible color. Oh. So I'm just taking like a oh, bunch of circles like this so cool. and then I'm having them um do that. And I think I can even if I have no, okay, that's the, the mug frequency. That is really smart. I don't have a variable for that. I know. What am I doing? I'm throwing. <laughs> the, you can see this changes the judges like the better spacing. drag your sliders when they look oh, at your graph. I, I am really yeah, this is like changes the amount of circles that you have. Um like someone said height. you should you should make your features like like add a note that just says drag all the sliders. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, are, are the meta balls at like different rotation speeds? Uh yes they are. Okay, right. That's genius. Yeah, I Ooh, you can make it really big and really small. Um I, I just I don't know, I had fun like at, once I finally got it done, I had fun um I'll post the link in actually I'll just copy this link right here, I'll post it right here. Um I had fun just like going around and like changing everything, making all the scales weird, and making like the, the planet colors all weird and everything. It was just fun to mess around with. Um, so I hope that the the judges don't look at this and be like, "This is cool," and then like close it and like <laughs> never look at it, like any of the folders or the, the whatever. But I don't know. I mean, it, it was it does fun. have that kind of that initial effect with the metal ball. Yeah, you know, it, it's yeah, so yeah. it looks cool even at a first yeah, glance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like the little fog around the planet. That's a that's a. Very oh, the nice atmosphere thing. That is another thing that you can that go. Cool. Oh, and you can change the thickness. I I did a weird. Where's the function? Here's the function. Let me make this a thickness of or a function of x instead of. I have this weird like. Oh, that's gonna <laughs> be weird because of the um. Yeah, I have this weird like square root function to calculate the thickness of the atmosphere because it um. I don't know if you all have noticed, but uh, the 
Yeah, you can see the sun is over here. Yeah. The atmosphere is actually not visible here because it's nighttime. It's only visible on the side where the sun is shining on it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I do that sure, weird, like, this VC is finishing very soon. There's bias. Like, oh, sorry. You're good. Well, I'm very foggy, um, but I need to... Yeah. Solid atmosphere. <laughs> the true solution to to climate change. You that is so Solidify true. the atmosphere. Just oh, yeah. Moment. And then for, for the stars, I originally had the graph uh, like this, and the you know the, the sun and the moon would yes, still like yeah. orbit like this. And I think like one day I was in the shower, and I just like just I just realized like oh my god, this is not how the solar system works <laughs> at all. Like oh, the sun no. and the moon don't just orbit the Earth like this. So I'm like, you know, if I, if, I just, if I add like a little bit of this, just you can say, oh, the space station is orbiting the Earth. And you know, that, that, that nicely solves all my problems. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, uh, maybe the next guy. Yeah, if anybody, is it, anybody is it has... Real time? Any questions? Let's see if we can start the, the not, blue streak up again. Mm -hmm. H1, you're not alone in that. Yeah. You realize that's not how space works. <laughs> 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 oh, you should see my view. My graph power, is right? a full rotation in seven hours. In a seven hour cycle. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. All right, we need. But it's oh, new. God. We're going to pick. We're going to. Okay, I'm gonna. What, what blue is adequate? Sure. All right. I don't think it's gonna be blue this time. No, it's never gonna be blue. It's never gonna, it's gonna be, be yellow. Spinning the wheel. This is it. Unless someone has bother graphs after this. Oh my Ready? god. Oh my god. Let's go. It'd be funny. Oh. 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 <laughs> Poor Fetty. No. <laughs> Incredible. Let's switch to that screen. Space. Okay, one second. Uh... All right, am I sharing the right thing? All right. Indeed you are. Oh, I remember seeing this one. I love this. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I guess this is my graph. Wait, random scientist. Um, if you're saying something, it's really quiet. Oh wait, can you guys hear me? I can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah we can hear you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You have orange Desmos. Okay. So basically, speed slider woo. Uh, and then you can click on stuff. And like, yeah. I'm really bad at pre presenting, and I, yeah, okay. Wait, so is this like actually like all accurate like star data or? Um, for the night of um January fifteenth, yeah. Wow. Except that it isn't very accurate, and I hope that the judges don't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first thing was like I said, it runs from um five o'clock to midnight so it's it does a whole rotation around polaris in um seven hours <laughs> and also um because it runs in a cycle the stars that are present like on the screen at five o'clock and the stars present at midnight kind of like are in the same location when they're not supposed to be so you know that's fun and yeah so my graph I don't know what else to say. Oh, and it also jumps, which is kind of bad, but yeah. What's the inspiration for the rocks and the silhouette? Oh, um, I kind of put it here, I guess. Um, one second. Uh, wait, what? Oh, um, basically, just like. Yeah, I guess you guys can read. I'm sorry, I don't want to. We don't want to present. Oh, um, no, Firefly. So basically, like 
this the user screenshot because I couldn't figure out um, a way to do it and I didn't want to use like multiple multiple um points for this so I basically just like use screenshots from from Notion. Yeah. There is a way to do multi-line list labels, but it it the okay. spacing would not have worked out. Mm, yeah. right, you can do multi-line point labels. You can do no. multi-line point labels if you um, nest transparent binomial operators and then manually set the text color of the inner text That's and then wrap awful. it in um, and then wrap <laughs> it in a mo math font block. Oh but the spacing is very inconsistent. Um, <laughs> if you want proper line spacing, you can have an exponent and a subscript in the same line um, to double the line count while still having normal binomial spacing, but then every two lines you'll get an extra space. That's dreadful. That is the worst thing I've ever heard. Thank you. <laughs> that is wow. some weirdly text dreadfulness. I also decided to write a really long note. So basically, I go from like my inspiration, of like being like a passionate astronomer and wildlife photographer, to like talking about climate change. This is this this was just my excuse to go on a big rant about light pollution. So that was nice. Oh, yeah, um, what is location of uh, of uh, the the scenery? Is it like Monument Valley or? Um, I didn't make it exact, but yeah, my inspiration was Monument Valley and Bryce Canyon. Okay, but I was, I was just wondering like, if, if the scenery was like based off of a specific location. Yeah, well, kind of. I didn't use any references. I just, yeah, came up with something random. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. Sorry, this is kind of a boring presentation, but yeah. I like it. Just... Yeah, it's great. The artistry is there. Yeah, Good yeah. graph. All right, spinning the wheel. Oh, nice graph. Yeah, let's see. What What is the wheel going <laughs> to land wheel. on this time? I think it's going to be blue, actually. <laughs> so nah, it's going to be green. Blue, I will that shit my a pants. Beautiful shade of blue. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, unless anyone else has graphs that they want to show, I, spinning the wheel. I have no idea what it's going to be, but I think it's going to be Maybe green. Maybe it'll be the white of the text. What are the odds? Oh my yeah, god. One wow. and one. Okay, I, I didn't expect to get picked this early, but um, I guess I'll... <laughs> okay, I don't actually have a graph to share, but I do have a little preview of an upcoming plugin, and I realize that I need to swap this out for the um, right configuration. Desmos. So I worked on this for like half of the um, this VC. So there's a certain UI element that just did not exist before this VC and now exists, which is cool. Um, so it's performance info v2. So uh, there's a pie chart now. Um, don't mind that it's pushed up against the edge. I had to mess with the styling a bunch, but um, it it displays a nice pie chart now. Nice. Um, so the more important part, though, is what you can see in console is this is every expression. Um, so it's doing compiling, and now it's doing rendering. So these are the exact timings for it, um, which are precise sub millisecond. Very fun. And if I, uh, for each expression and split between compiling and rendering. And if I uncomment this and comment this out and swap this config, then we can get <laughs> an extremely beta chart that did not actually exist before this VC started, so that's the reason why it looks a little a little bit strange. So basically the top bar here um, is each step, so like compiling and rendering. And then the second bar is actually each expression. 
and they will have colors, but they don't actually have colors or or borders, so it's a little bit hard to differentiate between them, but um, that's each expression compiling, so that's the compile step up there, and then that's each expression rendering. Um, so I don't know if you can see the, the tiny little gap in between there, but that's compiling up there, and then that's rendering over there. Um, and then each of those little bars is an expression. So on the left here is all of the compiling times. So you can see like the most expensive ones are here. Now currently the, the tooltips don't actually tell you which expression it is, but they are all expressions. Um, and then here's all the, the rendering for the expression. Is, is that their expression ID or their index? The expression ID is not actually included. These are timings from the instantiation of the worker, um, which is because I haven't set tooltip callbacks. Um, but I, I will I will set those before they release, I promise. And this won't say undefined. Um, this, but there's a lot of... really big. There's a lot of... Where... Uh, how... Does that include expressions that aren't being used? Like, let's say you have a function definition that's used, like, one time. Does, the fu does it only show... The, does it only plot what calls the function, or does it include the so function? So this... Every expression that is included in the change set, or every expression that is that changed or is a dependency of anything that changed will get included here, um, for the most part. Sometimes piecewises will filter this out, um, but basically anything that gets recompiled shows up here. Um, there is a, a lot of very cursed code that went into making this work, and I am going to update symbol binding because this is definitely not how I'm supposed to do it, but um, there's, there's, this is, it's, there's quite of a lot of interesting, interesting stuff have, going on. Have you here. found that you've like pin, like, like it obviously is in development. Have you found that you've actually like pinpointed like, like bottlenecks in your graphs with um, it? I don't really make very large graphs, but if I were to go to a graph like this, I can see like exactly which things are. So as you can see, uh, expression ID 43402 is the only thing that's doing graph all changes. Um, so if I turn on debug mode, where is 43402? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so 43402 is the only thing that's actually rendering anything. So you can see that there. And then if we look through Analyze Expression, it looks like the things that are most expensive to compute are, oh, that's not a true update. OK. There we go. That's better. Um, so stuff like 43517, I don't actually know. What is going on with this? OK. Um, let me. <laughs> get a nice ordered expression ID list. Um, oh, it's it. I forgot it requires degree mode. Um, but basically, it, it with, with the graph, it'll be a lot easier to pinpoint bottlenecks. But um, currently, I, I can see a limited bit of information. Like 32 looks to be a very expensive thing. And if I look at that, that's culling, yeah. So. Oh. Um, Culling actually, in this case, saves time. But if there was something like that or a bunch of dead code that had very high values here, then you might want to remove it. Um, but I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll be a little bit more useful once the the graphics are a, a bit more helpful than a bunch of borderless blue bars with a label of undefined. But this is huge. This yeah, is for huge. real. Uh, that's that's the plugin so far. Um, uh, okay, I, I need to I need to make some suggestions. I know it's not even ready yet, but if you ship that, that will actually be so valuable. Um, you should definitely there has to be something to sort all of it because with yeah, these ones, definitely thousand... there's going to so there's going to be a list underneath the thing that'll be sortable by time or sortable by ID, so you can um, see that a lot easier. There okay. might be a heat map in the expressions list, like where the um, Expression oh. ID usually comes yes. up, so you can oh, so cool. 
you can identify laggy expressions by their color. Um, and then obviously you'll be able to click on each um, click on each bar to to jump to that expression and see more precise numbers on that exact expression. But um, that that's the plugin so far. I hope I hope it seems useful. Um, and seems if, if very, anyone has any useful. suggestions, please <laughs> please do suggest them. Um, wow. Okay, we we have another graph. Another graph. Oh, another graph. Another graph. Another graph. Another graph. I, I, I'll share. It. I was. Uh, this is from. Can you send me the link? Is bad. Is bad. Oh. It's just okay. where you're gonna spin the wheel with nothing and divide by zero. <laughs> That's uh, not a number. Yeah. You know you're not supposed to divide by zero. Your teacher said so. So true. All right. Let's share this guy. Oh whoa. Uh, share. Get out of that. There we are. Sharing you. Full screen. Okay. This fun. is by is bad. Is bad. Uh, Can we... this simulate the three body problem? <laughs> <laughs> what is the three body problem? Is that like I've never heard of that. I don't know my physics. Three we, one round you have, colors. You have uh, three celestial objects floating around, and they are attracted uh, with uh, you know, gravity via Newton's law of gravitation, or general relativity if you're really ambitious. And basically, it's just a, the differential equation which describes that system's evolution. All right. Wow. If I could, those sure are some vectors. Yeah. There sure are some factors. Are those three blue, one brown arrow colors? Oh, they definitely. They 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 must be. Oh, the well, orange well. ones look more orange than brown. Yeah, they are more orange than brown. But the blue is the blue is very three three oh. B. That's pretty cool. I I'm I'm just wondering what I can config. Any any comments? I just did the middle of cyan and blue and the middle orange. Yeah, that's cool. Get your physics in there. Does anyone else have a graph? Anybody at all? Two weeks. I, mean, I have like hundreds of graphs, but you know, only a few of them are nice looking. If you guys want, you can look at my uh, lava lamp graph. Oh, uh, who's the mechanist? Oh, the mechanist. Uh, do you do you want to share it? Or can I share it? No, I made it like a year and a half ago or something. But if I were to have submitted an art contest graph, it would have been that. You didn't submit in the end. What happened? Uh, I'm bad at doing stuff. Hey. Good chance. Orange cube. Yeah, I. Uh... This isn't mine. This is Ron Orr's, but I still love you. Uh, so, uh, I guess. Um, wow. So I believe if the that probably this marked graph is, graph. I, this graph is so stupid. Yeah. So, um, I get. I guess. I guess formally, I'm not gonna go yet because it's chill here. But I think. Uh, I'll stop sharing the uh, wheel, if that's everybody. Um, goodbye, wheel. Goodbye, wheel. Made it account for the wheel. He's done what were so the well. Odds? And uh, yeah, this was a uh, this was a huge success. Here's to many more years of. Uh, yes, I think this is the largest. This is by Easy. far the largest VC we've ever seen. By far. By yeah, like so. tenfold. Yeah. Let's have the wheel. Now. How many people we were last year? Uh, how many? Ma- nothing like this. I think, like, I don't know actually. Okay, uh, let's, let's have the wheel inside Desmos next time. Yeah, and I think it was more sparse because uh, different people join at different times. So mm. maybe, maybe this is the next uh, Reddit competition uh, spinner wheel. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, although it would be quite simple, maybe we maybe we could make some fancy spinner wheels. 
But yeah. No, you make it all blue. Let's just show this from Mechanis. I'm just gonna share this. He uh worked on this. Oh, yeah, I've seen the lab lap. Um how laggy is it actually? It's what is he sharing? Oh, it's taking it's taking a sweet time. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's smooth. There's there's like there's like immediately you could tell there's immediately like tons of detail. Oh, let me share it on here. Uh yeah, there, there's tons of detail in like this part. Once like, again, with the Thomas face. And yeah. That's cool. How how long did it take? Yeah, 1500. <laughs> that's uh whoa. <laughs> All right, I see why you didn't submit. But it's a cool still. I think it's a cool still. It, just this alone, I think it'd be good. Yeah. Don't uh don't oh, don't be afraid. Be, it can be animated, but it's very slow. Yeah. Thumbnails, uh thumbnails are good. Like if like the thumbnails just just like like the thumbnail also looks good, so and yeah. So, uh, what's, uh, so yeah, no obligations to stay. We have tons of people here. Uh, there's like, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to close the stream just so we can mark this at the end. Uh, so yeah, that was good. I, I sucks that we, mi I missed the first like four, including like, like Adrian's. So that, that's not in the stream, but, uh, I'm shocked Adrian went first. Like he went last, last year. So, like, this is one of the last people to go. Uh, all right. 